you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. Shout out to the outsider. I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, originally, I used to be like, oh, this is how you don't play? Fuck those people. They're stealing my content. They're taking it out. You know, I would rage and do videos about it. And what would happen? It would just make it worse. It would just make it worse and worse and worse and worse, right? So there's no reason to waste time on it anymore. That's why you don't ever hear me address the shit anymore. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. Hey, again, it's funny because today, I don't care if someone makes a this is how you don't play montage. I don't care if someone does that kind of stuff. That doesn't that doesn't affect me at all. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't affect me at all. Um, why do I care if you make fun of my gameplay at this point? So make your stupid montages about gameplay and shit. It's not gonna, it does, if anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not gonna end me. So I don't care, let them do it, right? Thank you very much, The Outsider. Nice. The thing is, if you're watching this say you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. You know, years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, oh no, people making fun of me, and this site you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay, I don't give a shit. You know, any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream. I, I, I said a million times, I don't care what anyone does. Okay, we want to make a montage of Phil failing, a montage of Phil raging, whatever. One thing again to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to think this is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. Oh, no, no. I don't do that. And I should say that. I never do that. People tell me all the time, oh, Phil, someone claimed this, someone struck that down. It's never me. It's literally never me. I've never done it. I don't do that. I people can do whatever they want with my content. I'm not going to stop them because I don't have a lawyer to sue people. I'm not going to bother with that shit. So anyone who ever, ever gets affected by that, I swear to God, God's honest Bible truth, it ain't me. I don't Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, finally, to a playthrough. I mean, crap. Over a decade in the making. Final Fantasy VII, the original for PlayStation was a game that back in the day when I was a, a YouTuber, like the first year that I was a YouTuber, I was planning one day to do a playthrough of it. <clears throat> Although it wasn't going to be like a typical playthrough like the ones that I was doing at the time. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, there are trophies. Because people were asking, are there trophies? There are. Finally, I'm doing it. It's a summer. There's nothing going on. It's kind of a very slow summer this year, 2022. And I feel like this is a great opportunity to play through the game to prepare for next year's release, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the second in a trilogy of Final Fantasy VII Remake games. I'd love to see how this game stacks up in the modern era. I'd love to see what I think about the, the, the story of it now, because I always used to criticize the story strongly. Maybe I'll like it more now. I don't know. <clears throat> but also, I feel like this is kind of a required playthrough, because number one, a lot of people always say it's like the biggest, most hyped Final Fantasy ever made. The game that put Final Fantasy on the map, I beg to differ. I think that... The SNES games were quite good. But also, in addition to that, there's the fact that this game will have distinct story differences from the remake trilogy. So this is a good opportunity for us to see the original so we can directly compare it to the differences in the remake membership. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Oh yeah. Thumbstick. No encounter mode? The game has a no encounter mode. If you press L3 and R3 together, you don't have to fight any enemies. That's cheating, no? Seriously. And you can boost battle speed by R3? Okay. <clears throat> no, that's seriously cheating. L3 and R3 together? <laughs> oh, you don't have to fight anyone. Just walk right to the end of the game. Oh. Okay, here we go. 100% cheating. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away. I don't remember this intro. Ah, yes. Final Fantasy VII! Can you believe it? Oh my god. The first ever 3D Final Fantasy. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Here I am. Now. Oh, look. So when you press the touchpad, 
an arrow will pop up on screen to tell you where to go. That's what the assist means. So if you get lost in the background, you can't figure out where to go, you press that and then it'll tell you. That's kind of neat, actually. That's an interesting addition. What are my thoughts on the remake? I liked it, but I didn't love it. I think I would have liked it more if I knew that it, they were redoing the entire plot of the game rather than thinking that it was going to just be Final Fantasy VII with better graphics and new gameplay, which it definitely was not. Tom Van Wootswinkle just did a super chat. Says, thank you for the playthrough, Phil. Thank you, Tom, for the super chat. I appreciate that. And you're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do it. I really am. I'm excited to do it and finally get a modern opinion on what I think about the game because I really feel like I needed to do this with all the remakes and everything coming out I really wanted to re-experience the game the playthrough that I did in the 90s yes I did play Kingdom Hearts all the original three games one two and three. Oh, I really hope there's somewhere to save within 15 minutes because I don't have the ability to play late tonight so this game can go fuck off <laughs> I'm serious I just have to fucking redo this stupid bullshit again cut all the skip all the cutscenes Xander Cruz says, if you get back attacked again, hit the run button and let go. They flip around and they'll face forward. Oh, yeah? Is that a, like a old school tactic? I wonder what run is. Originally, it used to be two, like, two triggers together, but I don't know what it is on a modern PS5 controller. <clears throat> By the way, it doesn't look like there's going to be any kind of shortcuts, right? There's no, uh... You have to save at save points and everything, just like the original game. There's no, like, like save states or anything in this. <gasps> oh, my God! Hey! If it's about your money, wait till we get back. No money for you, Cloud. You got screwed. Money, 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 money. Oh, what a dick. He knocked Aerith down. What an asshole. You need the early experience. Ha! Ah. Excuse me, it's absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Wow, I am being absolutely revoltingly disgusting right now. This is ridiculous. The sound effects are so jarring. Oh! Fuck. You're on the train! This is <laughs> so get on a train that goes dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we already heard that dumbass. Wasn't funny the first time, you piece of shit. <laughs> hmm, you've grown up. When you were little, you used to get into fights at the drop of a hat. Ah, oh, Tifa, the character who every idiot on the planet fawned over in the 90s. Oh, Tifa, oh. What? Oh, I didn't see it. This is Point Dexter Cheer, so who's your favorite Nintendo waifu? We're not gonna talk about fucking waifus. Don't even start with that shit right now. Unless you wanna be fucking banned. Had enough. The game's hard enough. I don't wanna put up with your bullshit inventions or tropes of the previous games. For the most part. Oh, look at that. It's a bottle of Tangeray gin on the on the table. It's unmistakable. That green color, that's definitely Tangeray right there. Apparently, I just drink gin constantly, and he asked what kind of gin would I recommend. The only, like, good gin I've ever had is, like, Tangeray. Oh. Shout out to Chai, who took me $4.20, says gin is great. I used to drink gin all the time. I haven't had gin in years now, but uh, I do like gin. I agree. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. It's all about money. It's always about money. Always. I know I hate it. I'm tired of talking about the fucking money. I'm tired of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's fucking black. <laughs> Help, he's black. Because you know when he's black, there's going to be trouble. What the hell? I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. I don't care about anything because I'm emo. Emo Cloud doesn't care. I don't care about anyone but me. La, 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 la. Emo cloud. <clears throat> he really is emo. Like, his character type is emo, emo, emo. It's ridiculous. You completely shut down. And that's, like I said, some days that's happened to me. I just can't do any work today. I'm done. I'm just going to lay in bed and cry all fucking day. That's happened to me. Okay? It hasn't happened recently, but it's happened. 
Um, Kat has seen me like that once ever. And even she was like, oh shit. <laughs> um, I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Who? Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Sephiroth! A promise is a promise. Here. Huh? Receive Barrett's stash of 1,500 gil? Ain't that a bitch. All that money wasted. <laughs> and a bunch of discount coupons for Church's Chicken. What? Incredibly racist. There's nothing like a disgusting racist to ruin your day. It's com it was combined with a copy of Afro Samurai on the Xbox 360. <laughs> now that's an old reference for you guys. Thumbs down, motherfucker. <laughs> That went over people's heads with the Church's Chicken reference. That's from my unboxing of Afro Samurai over a decade ago. So, it's like Afro Samurai. So it's an African-American Samurai. Obviously already it's kind of a silly premise. And you open the box and inside the box is a fucking Church's Chicken coupon. It's like, what the fuck is this? Seriously, I'm like, what the fuck? How'd they get away with that? If they did that today, they would have been canceled. Seriously. But today, back then, it was a different time. It really was. <laughs> you wouldn't understand, you dunce. Yo. This ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again. God, I just don't have all the bad luck. Oh. Say hello to you. Okay, Lummox, a hired hoodlum. Hello. Cheered and said shout out to the hoodlums. All right. I, I, I guess that's a reference to something. Probably detractor content. Who fucking knows or cares? But thank you for the cheer regardless. Yeah. Big Papa Phyllis to me a dollar fifty. Says in Final Fantasy X2 there is a tech obsessed character named Shinra who is a mechanical genius and wears a distinct mask. In the Final Fantasy VII remake there is a photo in Shinra headquarters of a man in front of the photo is wearing the same mask. It doesn't matter. It's bullshit. They don't. They're not connected. It's just. It's just fan service, dude. Thank you for the tip. Can I do high-pitched voiceover so I know they're females? Oh, yes. I can talk like this every time there's a female in the game. What do you guys think? Oh, yes. Because I'm not a little fucking sissy who pisses his pants and screams like a girl. You are like sissy girl. <laughs> sissy girl. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I could do that. I could belch loudly into the mic every time that there's a female. What are you saying? Jeez, there's a lot of enemies. Why do they stand like that with their legs spread? It looks like they're about to, like, squat and drop a deuce. Oh, here I come! Here comes the special attack! Oh! It's like Gash's snake pushing his farts around in Project 7. Right? <laughs> That's what they're doing. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Look at their, look how they're standing. <laughs> look at their legs. They waddle around. <laughs> I do this because it completely airs out my balls and ass constantly when I stand like this. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the aeration. Oh, I love it. No, he did it. He threw his fart at me. He fucking hadouken the fart at me. I was joking and he did it. He actually seriously fucking did it. What the fuck, dude? He actually did it. Do watch. Braver. Here we go. Limit it break? Oh. Damn. $13.99. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 Damn. We keep this ass. We absolutely keep this ass. $13.99. Okay. Hey, you're gonna be all right? I don't know if I can hold on. I can't hold on much longer, Barrett, hurry. Don't go crying like a woman. There ain't nothing I can do for you. You gotta do it on your own. What a fucking bitchy prissy bitch. Barrett. Okay, hold on. No! Oh! Don't look, Tifa. He's gonna be very flat very soon. Body parts strewn everywhere. <laughs> Guts. His intestines will be hanging on the, the balcony up there. Ooh. Not a good sign. 
An anonymous tipper tipped me a dollar fifty. Says who would win in a fight, Cloud or Tony Soprano and his crew? What? <laughs> well, here's what would happen. All right. All of the Tony Soprano's crew would all start shooting wildly their weapons at Cloud. But Cloud is the protagonist. So he'd be dodging, Matrix dodging everything, because he's the protagonist who can never die. And then he'd pull out his giant buster sword, he'd charge towards Tony, he'd leap high into the air to land his brave, braver limit break, and as the sword is about to plunge down into Tony's head and end him, it just fades to black and ends. That's the end. Oh! Righty then! All right, I'll hold them off. Make sure they don't get through. The agent's getting away. Attack, attack, attack. Ah! Errors. Think we killed them? They never should have fought us. Cloud, help. Damn. What's that? Hold on a minute. Yeah! Thanks, Cloud. Oh! Aha! I did the wrong one. Yep, she's gonna have to fight again. That should have hit the other guy. Soon, and this one would have hit this guy. Sucks. I fucked up. If you remember, this whole part is playable in the remake, and it's all like a like rooftop platforming and dungeons and enemies and shit. And this is just a cutscene. Wait, wait, I said. A girl? What do you mean by that? I'm a boy. Wait, what? You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing me say something like that? You've misgendered me. Now I will definitely get you canceled on Twitter. <laughs> Walk as slow as you possibly can. Do a little doop, 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 doop. Why are his feet so big? Look, his feet look like they're like... Like fucking foot long submarine, submarine sandwiches or something. Look at the size of them. Ginormous clown shoes. Where does he buy those? <laughs> I have to sneak out. <laughs> it's like a penguin flapping around. <laughs> oh boy. We've arrived! To my knowledge, it was never on Dreamcast, no. The seediest place around. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. We gotta find Tifa fast. Again, in Final Fantasy VII Remake, this place is giant. Huge. Tons of alleyways, tons of missions. Here, it's like one screen. So let's say, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you for an outstanding premiere stream of Final Fantasy VII. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed our first taste of Final Fantasy VII. And we will continue in a couple days time again. It was a pleasure re-exploring this game with all of you. I cannot wait to play it again later on. Thank you very much, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. This is only my second session of the original Final Fantasy VII game. 
on the PlayStation 1, as run on PC, as emulated on PS4, as being run on PS5. Yeah, kind of complicated. Alright, so now Mango is now banned because he's basically saying he's going to report me to YouTube for homophobic content. And yeah, he's an asshole, so he can fuck off and not come back. Okay. Let's stay at the end. Uh, permanently banned! Jade me as well. He says he's happy for the new members. If you guys haven't noticed, take a look at the bottom left-hand corner. 60 gifted memberships today. Another extra shout out to Emil who gifted all those memberships. It's really nice. And uh, thank you for that. So we hit our July 2022 members goal all in one morning. Pretty outstanding. So congratulations to all of you who got gifted memberships today. Man, times are bad. And then? Hmm, oh really? And then? Hmm, oh really? How many Final Fantasy games have I played? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and all three of thirteens, and fifteen. The only Final Fantasy numbered I haven't played so far is fourteen. I've played every other number of Final Fantasy. So there you go. Plus I played Mystic Quest, plus I played Tactics, both Tactics and Tactics Advance. Um, I probably played more than that too. Yes, I played 11. I played 11 on PC with my with some friends online, and we played for uh, several months at launch. Right now. <clears throat> Final Fantasy Type O, I bought it, never played it, never booted it. I just can't let you go in alone, oh man. First we need to find out, what is she doing, crying? We need to find out if Tifa's all right. What's if she's crying? What's so funny, oh, she's laughing. Why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. Oh, yes. What? Just wait. I've got a cute friend I want to bring. Eris, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on and hurry. Wow. See, so in the, in the 90s, 1997 this came out, they treated cross-dressing like a joke. Like, oh, it's a big taboo joke. It's hilarious to see people cross-dress. So now that's what we gotta do. We have to make him cross-dress. I thought the cringe was over. I was mistaken. Excuse me, are you the father of the girl at the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making anything right now. Cloud, you wait over here for a second, and I'll try to talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? <clears throat> you know, mister, he always said that just once he liked to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A tough looking guy like that? So how about... Tough looking? Did you see his face? He looks like a, a feminine anime character. He ain't tough looking at all. Look at the fucking guy. Anyway. So, <laughs> it looks like his skin's made of porcelain. Wow. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid to Final Fantasy, everybody! It's Final Fantasy! Grandiose mind. fantasy on, on a higher level! Okay. It's so fun! <laughs> Is that a member's card? I see shining in your hot little hand come in. Oh, that's great that he says hot little hand. Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. <clears throat> sure, good excuse. <clears throat> see ya. Who, I mean sir, hurry. Please choose a room. The fuck room. I don't want to do this. No. What room is this? Oh, this one you can just go in. Okay. Hum, hum, hum. I can't seem to lose weight. 
Sir, you can't come in here. You're, you're like a pervert. Yeah, don't. Paste, paste, paste. God, there's another one of those guys, the delicate type. Ignore him. <laughs> what? What? Uh. Okay. The lover's room. Let's take a peek. Oh, yeah. Let's take a peek in the lover's room. Oh! Oh, fully clothed person. What's the big deal? Oh, my God. I have to pick a room, right? You can't come in here again? Yuck a pervert. Wait, did the audio die? That's weird. Why'd it go silent? He doesn't realize his position. I feel sorry for him. Ignore him. What a pest. Get out of here, you dog. I'll leave him pooch. <clears throat> what should I do? Is he following me? What if he follows me home? You think he's after me? Really? This guy makes me sick. His eyes are weird. Don't hurt these guys' feelings. Let's say hi to him. Hello. What a nice day. Introduce yourself. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Cloud, a jack of all trades. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Cloud. Gross. Don't get carried away. Take care, Cloud. You're still here? Well, good timing anyway. What do you think about me? Whatever. Are you embarrassed? Why are you so moody? What? Not interested. No way, I'm so shocked. What? I don't know what's going on! Hum, 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 hum. I'm so tiring. Is something the matter? Not yet. Oh! What is going on? Not really. Not that you care, but you sure know how to make people mad. What? <clears throat> what is going on? I just don't understand this. <laughs> what was the point of all that? I have no idea. A bunch of dialogue that's completely pointless. And now there's no now there's no music. The music is glitched. The game glitched. Anyway, we're definitely going to go into the group room. Here we go. Now all we have to do is enter this room. I'm Don't make me repeat myself. I want into the group room. I love the group room. It's a very entertaining room. You'll find out why shortly. Because I remember. <clears throat> Get ready. This way, please. Oh, yeah. Shall we begin? I guess since you chose this room, that would mean you hate being lonely. Cut the small talk. I don't want to talk right now. You're so moody. <clears throat> Everyone's waiting. What am I doing? <clears throat> Here they come. Here they come. Here comes everyone. Yeah! Big, beefy man. Ready to slap down some meat. <laughs> yeah! Someone named I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay. Just tip me $62 and we hit the tip skull for the night. They said nothing. It was just I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay. That's all they said. And they probably just wanted me to say I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm totally gay multiple times during the stream. Uh, Drakiri just resold for four months and said, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Come on, boys. Let's give them a mustache ride. <laughs> What's up? Smile, smile, smile. <clears throat> yes, this is part of the game. I'm. This is ridiculous, I know. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me show you something inspiring. Take a look at this. Spoil. <laughs> This could be dangerous. Looks like I'm always going to be the facing the crises all of my life. 
He even pant. Don't be so embarrassed, boy. Loosen up, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Let's wash up all our sweat and dirt together. Come on, get in the tub. Come on, meaty man. Let's do it. Yeah, come on. Bobby, so you're the intimate type, eh? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't bathing great? It soothes you. Yeah. How is it, Bubby? Say nothing. I don't feel good. Let me out. You'll get used to it. Try counting to ten. Ten big dicks. <laughs> Part of the neb. Hi. You just want to say thank you for saving me. Let me show you how special I, I think you are. <laughs> Come back to my room, my quarters, my, my private chambers. Sponsors the Ten, nine. Hey, Bubby, how old are you anyway? Eight, 21. <clears throat> You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. How about it? You want to join my young Bubby group? Seven, six. Not to be rude or anything, but could you do someone else? Could you do someone else? Fat, loser, faggot. Well, if that's how you feel, too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Why don't you stick around and play with us a bit? Come on, Bobby. That is so lonely. <laughs> yes, this is in the fucking game. Now, do you understand why, when this game came out, why I was like, what the fuck is with this game? Because they're gay. That nothing like this was ever in Final Fantasy before. All of a sudden, this game has all this weird shit in it. It's like, why is all this sexual content? Why are both Tifa and Eris flirting with Cloud? Why is Cloud having homosexual bathtub segments in the game? Why are there all these scantily clad women at the Honey Bee Inn? Like, seriously, I was playing the game and I'm like, this is so weird to me because Final Fantasy had not done anything like this before. And you feel like there's a whole new writing team or something with the in the game. And it really, I'll be honest with you, it actually annoyed me. Because I thought Final Fantasy was fucking fantasy. Serious plot lines, heavy shit. And I'm playing the game, and here I am like four or five hours into the game, and this is what the game is throwing at me. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And this actually is one of the reasons why I thought the game was just way over the top, over-exaggerated with how good it was. Now, the further you play into the game, it gets better, and it, it doesn't have all this shit. It's just so odd and weird that this these parts are in the game. This entire segment is so off-base compared to, like, the rest of Final Fantasy to me. Anyway. <clears throat> Here's a memento of our time together. The Bikini Briefs. Hope we meet again. Yeah. Give you another mustache ride. This is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Well, if it's going to save Tifa, I guess there's no choice. Wasn't that exciting? How do you put this on? <clears throat> Whoa, what are you doing? It's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. I thought you might, so I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you go and talk to them. What about the gym? What about the gym? What about it? Look. What about the gym? Look at me. <laughs> The weird part about this segment is so oddly out of place, and then later on it's like never referenced again. It just happens to get through this part of the game, and then it's like, why did we just fucking do that? Like, what was the point? And the answer is, there literally is no point. Okay. Are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute! Right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Urgh, big bro, the only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat big bro. That's right. You gotta compete with us. That's right, you're right, let's do some squats. All right, we'll beat you out of this gym. Are you the, the beautiful bro? What? You didn't know, always running around here saying big bro this, big bro that? Never mind that, come over here. Uzi Gohart to the dollar fifty says, I think you really had a get off my lawn moment with your 4th of July complaint. 
because you're 40 and stay home the majority of your life, it doesn't mean everyone else can't enjoy their one day to have fun and socialize. When did I say th that? I said the 4th of July is the date of meant to spend your family, your friends, go out and have fun. What I said was, don't do it at 3 a.m. in the morning when it's past the time you're allowed to even make noise outside. Why would you be sending off fireworks at 3 in the fucking morning? That's what I said. Did you even listen? Probably not. Considering what you just said, it sounds to me like you didn't even listen to what I said. Instead, you watched a tractor video because you were being fucking stupid. And you probably listened to something out of context. I outright said, go have fun. Do whatever you want. I even, in fact, I even said yesterday, the 4th of July, the point of the holiday is to celebrate independence. That you don't do, you don't just do what you're told. You don't have some kind of a controlling power or a dictator telling you do this, do that. That was the whole point of breaking free of Great Britain and becoming an independent nation in the Revolutionary War. So if you're celebrating the 4th of July, you should be doing something that day that you want to do, regardless of what everyone else tells you to do. That's a way to celebrate the spirit of the day. That's literally what I said during my pre-stream yesterday. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Congratulations on being completely off topic. Okay. Lucas says maybe he celebrates his July 4th experience by exercising his independence to not listen to you and believe the detractor stream instead. I mean, he could do that, but he's, then he's just an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I can't... I, I, I guess you're free to be an idiot, too, if you want, you know. Kill yourself, idiot! Uzi Gohard to the $1.50 says, I was one of the people firing off bottle rockets at 3 a.m. That's because you're an asshole. There's a difference between, again, I celebrate my right to do something, you know, and have freedom on the 4th of July, and then there's, oh, I impede on everyone else around me and ruin everything for them because I have freedoms that are more important than yours. That's the difference. It's called everything in moderation and being respectful of the people around you. If you're shooting bottle rockets off at 3 a.m., it means you're an asshole. So there you go. Thanks for the... So what's weird about this game is it has all this, like, in this part of the game, sexualized stuff. But, I mean, the characters are so weird. They're like little chibi, deformed characters. Like, none of this comes off as, you know, it's like a joke. You know what I'm saying? But then when you play the remake, the characters are hyper-realistic. And then everything kind of is sexualized because everyone looks real. Here, it's just, like, weird, right? <laughs> And again, does any of this add to the game? Is it ever referenced again? Is it important? No. It's just weird as fuck that this is, like, wedged into the game. And the fact that people don't ever talk about this is also odd to me. Like, this was always in the game. Yeah, everyone talks about all the all the great battles and everything. It's like, yeah, what about the whole part where you go into a sex club, you get banged and, and squeezed by a bunch of muscle dudes, you go for a mustache ride, to put on bikini briefs, you harass a bunch of, like, like line dancers to put makeup on your face. You do a bunch of squats, a bunch of bunch of sweaty dudes in a gym to get a fucking wig, and then you cross dress, and pretend to be a girl for a don who's also a sexual predator. Yeah, like, what about that part? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't remember that part. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the best part of the game, right? <clears throat> your friend's hot too. Come in. And now you find the sex dungeon. You find the Don's sex dungeon. Literally, it's a sex dungeon. But no one talk about this, right? <laughs> An offering? Yes, this Would is you like a to help you carry your carpet? rare Egyptian sex oils. No, sorry. That's what's it in this uh, big sacred. thing here. Tifa? Nice to meet you. I'm Ares. Cloud told me a lot about you. And you are? Hey, you're the one with Cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean, don't worry about what? No, don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together. It's nothing more. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. Right, Cloud? Cloud? <laughs> Cloud wants this item. An ether. Cloud's like, fuck both of you. <laughs> Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? What are you doing here? What are you into? I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. We're totally gay. It's time, ladies. The Don is waiting. I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. Hurry up, will ya? Remember, you never let a woman win in a competition. You always gotta win.
Woohoo! I made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... I think depending on, on the... Yeah. I was going to say, depending on what choices you made in the town. Like, remember there was... You could choose a shiny dress or a smooth dress, a soft dress. I think depending on the type of dress you chose, that determines who he picks. I don't remember if there's a reward if he picks you. There may be, like, an extra reward you get if he picks you. <clears throat> but I didn't get it. This slender little girl. Don, you've got great taste. You can have the rest. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Shall we go, my pretty? Highest darkness, if this is worse than the remake, the white-haired guy works for the Don, had his wife stolen from him and given to the Don. It's fucked up part of the game. Why is this in the game? It's fucking gross. Hey, guys, we've got guests. We'll take real good care of you. This is all thanks to the big boss, Don Corneo. Three cheers for Don Corneo. Well, ladies, we are all ready. Like, seriously, you know a ton of kids fucking played this game. Why put this in the game? You know... What the fuck? These guys are glitching. You know children are playing. Oh, I got a phoenix down. What the hell? I didn't even know that was in there. I really hate this part of the game. It's just incredibly stupid. There's no point for it to be in the game. It serves no purpose. It's dumb. It doesn't add to the story. It's a waste of time. And look how long it takes. I've been playing for an hour. We're not done with this shitty part yet. I can't even do it. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> What am I supposed to do? Cloud, I'm flattered, but no thanks. Because, because, because I ain't interested in a bunch of scrubs like you. A million? Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. A I, million? I, I, I no, okay. Oh, God damn it. Don't think you'll get out of this. You're like the chick with the dick from the crying game. Beat the shit out of him! Where was he keeping the Buster Sword all that time? He was tucking Captain Winky. You ever see uh, Ace Ventura pet the There you go. <laughs> you alright? Of course. If you take me lightly, you're gonna pay for it. So we have to... I think after we do this, then we can get to the part where there's a dungeon, if I remember correctly. Woohoo! Come on, don't be shy. Yes. But Mr. Don, I'd like you to explain something to me first. Of course, my dear. I'll take you through it slowly, step by step. Come on. What a disgusting pervert. Look at him. He's gyrating. That's not what I meant. No, stop! Just wait a second. Ah! Come, come. Oh, 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 oh my god, yo! Ah. Bro, are you kidding me? Can't wait any longer. Here comes Papa Cornio. Better than sex cake? <laughs> Better than the sex I'm not getting at this exact moment. What the? Who the hell's there? I'm sorry, Don. What? What? She put on more conservative clothing? No! From you. I'll take your top off. He said we'll have the official ceremony <laughs> Shut up. We're asking the questions now. What did your assistants find out? Talk. If you don't tell us, I'll chop it right off. So his dong is hanging out, and he says he's going to chop his dong off. No, not that. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything. He probably has, like, every STD. He probably has syphilis and shit. It's disgusting. Maybe, maybe he has leprosy. Cool. Trolls are bothering Beat Drop. Well, the trolls should shut the fuck up and leave him alone. If they beat him, if they bother him, I'm gonna slap them around. <laughs> slap them over like that across their face. Okay. Oh, uh, we're going this way, right? I see an item. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Go right. There we go. High potion. That's our first one. God says, so far I'm enjoying this game a lot. 
Hopefully we'll do Final Fantasy XIII someday. Perhaps I will play it again. I see no reason not to. Final Fantasy XIII has ridiculously outstanding music. I remember that I'm really loving the soundtrack. Um, at this point, my original playthrough is missing from the internet due to a fucking piece of shit hacking that old channel and just getting it shut down. So I would love to do a second playthrough for you guys someday. For sure. This is how we get out of here, right? Yep. Cool. When I spend the whole bag for Tifa, I don't know what that means. What kind of weird slang are you hitting me with when I spend the whole bag for Tifa? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Speak English. Maybe I'll understand you better. Why is no one talking in the chat now? What happened? Did the chat die? The stream's still working. Right? What is going on? Oh! Okay, now everyone's talking. Fine. Did I ever play Triangle Strategy? I don't know what that is. Triangle Strategy is a, a made by the company that made Octopath Traveler. It's like Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, I see. I didn't even play Octopath Traveler, so... Collider Storm, perhaps if you would like me to play something other than retro games, there should be other games releasing. There's nothing. He's like, oh, I want multiplayer or something that's not a 90s fighter game. What, what would you like me to play? I'm not playing Call of Duty. It sucks this year. There's no beta for the new one yet. I just healed by accident, by the way. There's no other multiplayer games out. What do you want me to play? Fucking Fall Guys that just was free to play when I played it two years ago? Like, there's nothing, there's nothing going on in gaming right now. Do you not understand that I play everything that's new and there's nothing new? You're, you're actually, you're complaining about nothing. <laughs> if you if you like to develop a game and release it for me to play, okay, I guess. But outside of that, I'm not sure what you're complaining about. I don't care about DNF Duel. DNF Duel is literally in the same vein as Blaze Blue and uh, uh, Guilty Gear. In fact, I would go as far as to say it's kind of almost a copycat game. Uh, I don't like that style of game, and I have no desire to play. So there you go. Just like I don't play knockoffs of Dark Souls, I'm not going to play knockoffs of Guilty Gear. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you're all right. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Cloud. You're going to go help Eris, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra are involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Eris asked me lots of questions. Like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. I don't know. Dummy. Dummy, 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 dummy. Well, that was mean. You dummy! <laughs> Gnats spread like a T-virus. The only way that you can get a bad issue with little flying bugs is if you have stagnant water, because that's how they reproduce. They usually reproduce on stagnant water. So, well, one time, many, many years ago, all right, I did have a fruit fly infestation in my house. I told you guys about this. My ex, and all of her genius thinking, had a uh, soap dish that she kept in the bathroom. Little did I know, the soap dish had water and soap runoff in it that was stagnant water sitting there inside of this hollow soap dish. She never cleaned it, ever. So we have a fucking fruit fly infestation in the house. We're searching everywhere. Where could this stagnant water possibly be where these fruit flies are reproducing? I'm searching the whole house from top to bottom. I can't find it. Finally, one day I'm in the bathroom and I'm, I'm just wiping the countertop. I hit the soap dish, and I'm not kidding you, 20 to 30 fruit flies came out of the soap dish. Just a, I was like, oh my fucking God. And then for that, I said, well, I know what it is. I, you know, threw it out, killed all the fruit flies. That was the end, and I never came back. It was pretty disgusting. Yeah.
Oh! Platforming. Come on! How do I grab this fucking thing? Sure. Annoying. But we got it done. It's all good. Grandma. Ether. I have no idea why I climbed down. Oh, fuck. thing you idiot
Oh. Thank God. Now, I have become a master of stealth gameplay. Everyone knows it when they watch me play these games. I remember this is the stealth part. You have to hide behind the statues. Yep. Don't you have to do this like three times? Wait for the soldiers and press X to signal the others. Okay, ready? Yep. I failed this a million times in my original run in this game. I didn't understand what was going on. So I fucked it up real bad. Now I remember this part. Okay. What the fuck? He's behind it! Do you see? I hate Shinra Tower. How I can't even get to a save point because the game is fucking shit here. I hate this part of the game. I absolutely positively hate Shinra Tower. I hated it in my original run. I hated it in my, my subsequent run. I hate it now. It's annoying as fuck. It's made to annoy you. It's not fun JRPG gameplay. It's a bunch of shit mini games that suck. And he was behind the fucking statue and he still gets seen. It's the dumbest thing. Oh my god. It's like you killed the guards. Who the fuck is out there? You just murdered them all. Why do you have to do the whole segment over? They're all dead. You just murdered all the guards. Why do you have to fight again? It's so stupid. a waste of time. It really is a waste of your time. It's disrespectful to the gamer to have to do this. Fuck you. No, really. I mean this. As a gamer spending money, fuck any game developer who thinks that that is fair and thinks that that is a good use of my time. It's not. It's disrespectful. It's dishonest. And it's incredibly fucked up that you're taking full price for a game and you only give me par partial what I should deserve when I played through your game. Oh. Again, keep in mind, Cloud is faster than Barrett. The problem is Barrett's slow as dirt. Did you see how far she had to go? She didn't even go to the edge. She didn't even go to the edge of the thing. She had twice as long to walk. Fuck this, man. This is terrible. She walked in slow-mo from double the distance for no good fucking reason. This sucks. I hate this. She walks like a slug. Ugh. 
I tranquilizer. I need the fucking tranquilizer right now. I'm so pissed. This stupid game. Cloud handles perfectly. It's them that's the problem because you don't control them. The computer moves them so slow when you press the button. It, it's a fucking joke. They're like slugs. Oh. Okay. Fuck you. Now I just want to save my game. I just want to save. You're the repair division. This door was pushed open. You had to fix it right away. Take a look on the other floors. Take this. Aha. You got the key card for floor 62. <clears throat> okay. Now, how do I save? If I go to the bottom, can I save at the bottom floor? Let's find out. Maybe I can save at the bottom and then resume next time and go back up. But there's no fucking save point here. What's this? Shinra Motormobiles? What is this shit? An ad for Shinra cars. Look. Shinra Motor Mobiles. I didn't know this was in the game. <laughs> okay, this is a great ad. I'm glad we're watching it. How exciting. Oh my god! Oh! 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 Ooh! Did I do that? I literally had to leave the tower to get to a safe spot because they didn't fucking put one anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's stream of Final Fantasy VII. Just as I suspected, we didn't beat the tower, and we're not even in the lengthy part yet. This tower is one of the worst parts of the game for me. Seriously, I always hated it. And I knew it, to, it takes forever to get through this tower for no good reason. It's not even that fun. Even until you get to the, the cool, eerie story element. The whole tower is a waste of time. It's the grindy shit. So next time around, hopefully we will beat this tower and get to the better parts of the game. Okay? Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. My one and only first run in this game uh, for you guys on the internet. I've played this game several times before in my past, but it's a long time ago, like 20 years ago. The last time around, I might have made a major mistake. All right? Last time around, I think I didn't save. We're about to find out, and it's true. I didn't save, because take a look. We're going through the front door. <laughs> we have to do this all over again. Hey. <laughs> it's not a huge deal. Thank God I didn't get too far into this. Can you imagine if I had done the whole tower and accidentally not saved? I probably would have completely lost my shit. Thank goodness that's not the case. So we do have to turbo through these first few floors again. We've already seen them. But there's not much I can do about that now, right? I have to just basically do them again. It's okay. It's not a huge deal. In fact, you know what? Let's time three this combat. <clears throat> yes, I have to do the stealth section again. I do have to redo that. That's true. Ha ha ha! Oh, wow. Okay. I pushed the thumbstick too far. I obviously didn't want to go that far. Daki says, do you think more modern games should have save states? I mean, some games like open world RPGs have literally save whenever you want, right? So, 
In that regard, I guess a lot of modern games do. I guess it really depends on the genre. Oh. All right, maybe this is not working out. You know what my problem is? I'm using the thumbstick. I should probably see if the D-pad works. Because I think the thumbstick's a little bit too, too, uh, like, sensitive on the PS5 pad. Oh my, all right, I'm definitely taking it off three speed. <laughs> yeah, I'm failing even worse than last time. This is embarrassingly bad. All right, I'm putting it on normal speed now. We'll never finish this at this rate. <laughs> I suck so bad, it's hilarious. Oh, look! Oh, that's right! Once you fail enough, they stop coming. I totally forgot about that. Once you fail enough, you don't have to fight them anymore. Yeah. Well, that worked. Good. I don't have to sneak anymore. I fucked them all up. And by the way, doing the, the times three game of combat worked well there. <clears throat> Very nice. Right, here's your Midgar space program. Heidegger Shimmer peacekeeping law. I don't know how I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to get this wrong, obviously. <clears throat> Donkey Farts tipped me a dollar fifty and says, Would you work for Shimmer Corporation in real life? As you guys know, I'm a complete and utter sellout, and everything that I do in life is in, you know, in conjunction with what I'm told to do by a major corporation that controls my life. I totally don't aspire to always stand against that kind of stuff. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Why am I being hypocritical? Same people. Mr. Durden says, thanks for consistent gaming content. I used to be a regular rich viewer a while ago. It's sad to see how much of his content reacts to drama and baiting drama with other creators. Last night, okay, Rich is on my stream and he's really enjoying my Castlevania content. He said he likes the game. We're in the end. It's the finale. It's like the most exciting part of the game. In the middle of the stream, he bails to go do it, make a drama stream about the quartering. Because the quartering, I guess, was doing some drama content about some other content creator. I don't know. I'm like, that. it's seriously disheartening to see that. It really is. Because here's a guy who like genuinely is enjoying the content he's watching. He's liking me play the game. He has to go make drama now. So he, he ditches and leaves. I'm like, wow, that's sad. Imagine that. Imagine you're enjoying yourself. Oh, wait. I got to make a buck. I got to... Oh, guys, sorry. I can't play Final Fantasy VII. I heard Keemstar saying something about me. So we got to go over to Twitter now to fucking get into a war about it. You know? That is sad to me. Like, you know, it seriously is. And I just don't understand how people can, can think that that's like a good way to, to make content and have a life. I just don't get it. But that's me. You know, that's my personal opinion. You guys can disagree. But for me, that's like, can you, can you imagine? I'm having a great time. Oh, I have to ruin my great time now by going making drama content to make a buck today. Ugh. Who cares? It's fucking so lame. Anyway. So, I don't see a way to do this. No, he didn't. Keemstar didn't offer me 50k to do anything. Keemstar offered me nothing. Keemstar wouldn't even fucking call me on the phone because he's a fucking idiot. So, just get that shit out of your brain right now. <laughs> it never happened. There was no offer of anything. The guy is a fucking asshole. That was shitty. Alright, 66. After this, we need 69. 69! Oh, boy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna name my camel Camel Toe, because I'm a real mature adult. <laughs> That's why we're thinking of breeding her. Then we can create one that will withstand our research for a long time. What about the Promised Land? Wouldn't it hinder our plans? That's what I need to plan. The mother is strong and yet has her weaknesses. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. The villain did a super chat and wants to know all about how I budget my money for bills. How about no? How about I don't have to tell you anything about how I personally deal with money? It's none of your freaking business. Even if you super chatted me or not, it's still not your business. And it's incredibly intrusive and incredibly insulting that you would ask that question. And I'm incredibly offended. And I want an incredible apology for your incredible insulting actions on this incredible stream today. 
All right. Canceling Disney Plus and putting money towards bills. Just a suggestion. Well, let's see. Let's think about this. What is it? Five, ten dollars a month for Disney Plus. We watch it all the time. We get entertainment out of it. Why not? Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll cancel every digital subscription I have. We'll stop eating food. You know, let's we'll sit here. We'll stare at the fucking wall and just breathe air all day when I'm off stream. Sounds like a good idea, right? Right? Or you could stop being an idiot. So there you go. <clears throat> Oh, uh, let's see. Ben Tater shipped to the dollar, and he said, Neil Druckmann himself announced that Last of Us 2 is coming May 29th, and thanks for banning me. I didn't ban anybody, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Z Jinping tipped me a dollar fifty. Says, would you ever play Final Fantasy XIV the MMO? It's highly rated on PS5. <clears throat> As I stated, uh, MMOs are not my thing. In particular, I've never really been interested in MMOs because the few times I've tried them over the years, trolling basically ruined the experience for me. If there ever was an MMO that you could play that was troll, troll proof, then maybe I would consider it. The thing about MMOs, though, is they require an incredible amount of time uh, investment. And I really don't have that kind of time investment. You know, I'm a variety streamer. I like doing a variety of things. Playing the same thing a ridiculously amount of time to get progress would maybe be, I don't know, too time consuming. Um... I'm not saying no, I'm just saying I haven't seen it be viable for a, a, a streamer like me so far. So, if there were a set of circumstances where I could play an, an MMO like that and not get trolled, where there was content that was significant that I could do that's not like 80 hours to get to the first part of it, you know, may, it's a maybe, but honestly, I don't think anyone's really tried to convince me to play the game too often, so. Okay. Uh, Xi Jinping, just to be a dollar fifty, says Final Fantasy fourteen is an anti-trolling policy. If you summon a GM and say people are harassing you, they'll all get an account-wide ban on the spot. Having several streamers, so they crack down massively. Square Enix is much better at this than Blizzard. It's good to know. Thank you for the tip. Okay. Oh, Team Coco, when you upload your next reaction video, can you add chapters and timestamps? I was watching your other reacts. I would have been nice if you included that so I could jump to certain topics. Huh? No. <laughs> Dude, Team Kogo, do you have any concept how much time that would take? So, if I'm doing a, a, a marathon of reacting, you now want me to rewatch back all of that content live to put timestamps on it. So, essentially, you want me to stream for an 8 to 10 hour marathon and then watch videos for 8 to 10 more hours to add timestamps. No. If someone else watches the video and then wants to put timestamps in a, in a comment on the video, I'll approve it so people can use that as a guide. But I'm not going to immediately re-watch my marathon in order to timestamp the marathon. That's ridiculous. What are, That's such a ridiculous request. Wow. Okay. Plum Girl, I hate to say it, but it really is an unreasonable request. Like, I'll give you an example. Back in the day... I used to put timestamps on my Ask the King videos. Now, Ask the King is a Q&A show that usually typically runs two to three hours long. So I would use my list of questions as a guide. All right, because I have my questions printed on paper for Ask the King. And I would use that guide and I would skip through the video trying to coincide timestamps. No exaggeration. When I used to do that, for a two to three hour show, it would take me upwards of an extra hour of work to put the timestamps on the video. So, now you're asking me for a marathon like tomorrow, I'm going to do React Marathon, right? So yeah, there'll be a pre-stream a pre or a podcast, you know, level one podcast, and I probably wouldn't put timestamps on that. But outside of that, for the videos that I'm going to react to, right? You're talking likely, I'm going to be doing that for maybe four or five, six hours, plus there's going to be a feasting with the king and, and a WWE match or whatever. Can you imagine how much extra time that would take me two to three hours? Like, you gotta be reasonable here. I'm a one-man show. I'm not someone who's a very popular YouTuber who has a team of people working for him, an editor, uh, you know, someone who uploads the content for them. I'm not a talent, so to speak. But you might not realize that. A lot of people who do this for a living, the talent is the person who's on camera for their audience, but they're not the person who does the work behind the scenes. They have people who literally do that shit for them. They upload the videos, they add the tags, they put the timestamps, they edit the videos together, they advertise and promote, they post on social media for them. I'm none of that. I'm one a one-man show. 
all right? You know, and I think what it is is people don't tend to understand that fair comparison because if you're watching someone who's like five to ten times bigger than me, who probably, you know, has insane views compared to me, who, you know, just because I do it for a living and I'm lucky enough to do this for a living doesn't mean that I have anywhere near the resources that these guys have, okay? I hope you understand that. It's not that... It's like, oh, Phil just doesn't want to do the work. It would make things a lot easier for us. The difference here is I'm literally going to be on this stream tomorrow morning starting at 10.45 a.m. with minimal breaks until, like, between 7 and 8 p.m. So you're talking, I'm going to be on camera 8, 9, 10 straight hours. Then I have to upload the videos, which is going to take me about a half an hour to 45 minutes to get them going. And then I don't want to sit here for another 2, 3 hours adding timestamps. You know, like, I have to at some point have that separation of work and having a real life and i hope you understand that again i'm not trying to be negative I'm, i don't think that your question was offensive in any way i'm just trying to explain this as matter of factly as possible that people seem to think that like being a full-time youtuber is just such an easy thing and there's no work or anything involved in it and, and oh it would be a, a quick and easy thing for philip with timestamps why just won't he do that because i i want to leave the office after being in it for 10 hours you know, like, I need to stretch my leg, get out. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna go take a shower and, and try to move my body. You know what I mean? Like, no, I don't wanna just sit here another three hours. You know, you gotta think about other, the, uh, it's funny that people compare, used to compare me to guys like Angry Joe, you know, guys who gets millions of views on every video he does and has a whole editing team. People today, they still compare me to people like Maximilian. Maximilian, Maximilian who has like a ridiculous amount of views, subs, and a whole team who works for him. You're comparing me to him. Like, I'm just one dude in a room in his house. It's not a studio, you know? It's just a room in his house just tossing videos out on the internet. You know what I mean? So, again, please, I hope you're not taking offense at this. I'm just trying to be as calm and, and, and rational in my response as possible that comparisons like that don't make sense. It's not equivalent. And as much as I would love to put out more content, better content, you know, it has to be within reason. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I feel like it sadly is just kind of, it's, it's above and beyond reason to ask for the kind of stuff that some people ask me for. Especially because, uh, let's think of it this way. Tomorrow, this marathon is going to happen. Yes, lots of people will watch it after the fact. Realistically, what percentile of the viewers who will watch those videos after the fact do you think will care about the time stands? 5%? Maybe 10%? out of what a few thousand views i'm going to get on those videos so i'm now killing myself putting another two three hours of extra work in for a hundred people so again i hope this all makes sense and again please understand like of course what will happen is the scumbags out there will spin this oh you see phil's lazy phil doesn't want to help anyone with his content it's like that's not the case i'm just i'm not at the equivalent level of the people who sadly people compare me to. I'm just not. The people I'm compared to are like likely nowhere near the level that I'm at, right? At all. And I appreciate that people will make constructive suggestions of ways to improve the content, but at the same way, it has to be within reason. That sadly, that's just not a reasonable request after a 10 hour marathon to sit here for hours extra to timestamp my videos. Uh, it's just not gonna happen. Again, maybe if I was much bigger, if I made a lot more money and I had staff working for me, why not? Then it's a no-brainer, but you know, sadly, it's just not the—that's not the case here. Okay. No, you didn't come at a bad time, Roger. I was answering a question. It just needed to have an intelligent answer rather than me gloss over it. I didn't want—I didn't want homegirl to feel like I was like like blowing her off or not not taking time to answer because it was a valid question. Okay. The door's open. Yeah, when did it open? Oh, I remember what's about to happen. Now is technically when it actually gets pretty good. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this is like one of the best parts of the game. It, it goes from like the shittiest part of the game to the best part of the game in like a minute. So let's save. And then continue. And this again is when the game gets really creepy. But in my opinion, really good. I actually like this part of the game. I remember when I first played it, it blew me away. Because I'd never been used to seeing blood like this in a video game. Let alone a Final Fantasy game. 
Keep in mind, the Final Fantasy games up to this point had been very pixelated, not hyper-realistic. This one, there's blood squirted everywhere all over the territory. What the hell is going on? Like, whoa. Okay, then. We're going to follow the blood trail. So, Mr. Jackson tips me $4.20. Says, Technically, Genova did get loose and kill everyone. Now, Mr. Jackson, you were spoiling. Why would you spoil? Actually, if I remember correctly, it's a combination of stuff happening here, but let's continue. Thank you, Mr. Jackson, for the tip. Oh, what's up? Where's Cloud? He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Wow, what great rendering here, huh? <laughs> really, nigga? Oh, boy. Look how great those character models look. <laughs> Yikes. 1997, ladies and gentlemen. So much damage with lightning. It's like double damage. Ponage 101, are you kidding? Ponage 101 just did a $45 tip. He says there's still time for a vest. I mean, technically there really isn't. So I'm just going to run and grab one. It sucks that we really don't have time. To choose one, but I appreciate that last minute contribution there, man. Thank you so much. And with that, <clears throat> I will run and grab a vest here. Whatever is just like right there. The good news is we're, we escaped Shimmer Tower. We're about to go open world. The bad news is it literally took all three hours of today's stream to do it. So tired. Oh, thank you, Ponage. Last chance for a vest. So here we go. All right. Is it true that Shinra makes monsters? Oh, it's true. Either way, as long as we use reactors, we can't stand up to Shinra. I mean, yeah. If you're reliant on their energy, how can you complain about the byproducts of it? It's a good point. Hello, little Mac. Where am I? Oh. The world's at peace. All's well. What a fucking idiot. What an ignorant asshole. Couldn't be further from the truth. La 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 la. It's called the town of Calm. All right, let's go save. Because <clears throat> if we go into that inn, I know there's a bunch of... Oh, come on. No! They won't let me leave. And I can't save the game. Are you fucking shitting me? I might be screwed. I might have to redo everything I just did. Again. I'm pretty sure I have to, actually. Because there's no way to manually save. Yeah. And there's going to be a long cutscene. I don't have time to do it, right? The cutscene... Those people were saying the cutscene takes a while. So I guess I have to redo what I just did, which is fine. We just saved. We just saved outside of Midgar. So it's no big deal. I just got to go rebuy everything. Okay. All right. So, guys, thank you for a great stream of Final Fantasy VII today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. And we are now heading towards the town of Calm. If you're wondering why we're doing this again... Because last time when I was playing, I didn't realize there was a required cutscene in the town of Calm that uh, was going to take up a lot of time. So I didn't really save <laughs> outside of leaving Midgar. So we're just going to go back into town right now. All right, I really need to remove that word limitation because I didn't put that limitation on here to begin with. That limitation was put on the chat many years ago on Twitch chat. And I don't really think people do that anymore. Exactly. If you say a certain word in the chat, it gets blocked. And I don't think it's... I, I wonder... Hmm. Hold on a second. Everyone hold on a second. Oh, I look so much better. Let's find out now. I may have fixed it on the fly. I don't know if it worked, but I might have fixed it on the fly. I think I might have just fixed it. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I did my best to fix that on the fly. <clears throat> so I hope we'll get more explanation. Here's the thing. When I first played this game many years ago, I was trying to make heads and tails of the, the story. I couldn't. I always got confused and didn't really know what was going on. I hope in this playthrough, 20-some years later together we could figure out the plot like he says his mother is Genova 
and his father, and then he laughs. So, is it true? Is he really the offspring of Genova and something else? Genova is a hideous creature. And I'm trying to remember in the plot exactly what it is. If it's an alien or if it's just a mutation. I can't remember because it's been so long since I played this. I'm sure we're going to get our answers as we get further into the game. Let's keep, keep our eyes and ears peeled for information on Genova. Okay? <clears throat> huh. This is my house. It has nothing to do with what happened five years ago. Ah. Huh. <laughs> 3DO Games did a super chat. He says, any interest in reacting to Slim Darksy remix video? I'd love to see a playthrough of Legend of the Dragoon. Lean in ban. I got a nice lean in ban for someone who just assaulted me. Goodbye. Pol Pot is so hot, just became a channel supporter. Thank you so much, Pol Pot is so hot for the channel support. That's me, yeah? I don't know, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo, right? Ooh, what a looker. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna take a crazy shit. I've been stuck in here. Oh! Looks like a gremlin. It is like a deformed gremlin. Look at this thing. Oh, look, Phil's Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Nibelheim, or is it Nibelheim? Nibelheim. Sephiroth. Oh, it's not Sephiroth. It's Sephiroth. I'm gonna say everything differently now. Sephiroth. Confined himself to the inn. He didn't even try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden he disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers used to call it the Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. We called it the the uh Oh god, what was it? Now I, oh my god, I'm having a brain fart. The Spencer Mansion. There you go. It's the Spencer Mansion. Here it is, the Spencer Mansion. Exactly as it's laid out in Resident Evil. Frame for frame, room for room. It's quite disturbing, actually. Now we know the truth. Oh, a safe. It was all the Mako energy all along. The Mako energy of Nibelheim caused hideous mutations that then made Sephiroth lose his mind. <laughs> I'm going to say everything the other way now. I have to find weird pronunciations for everything in the game. There's no sign of Sephiroth, but I know I saw him going to this room. That means there's a secret passage somewhere. Oh, look at that. Look at that. A secret passage. I found a secret passage. <laughs> We go down the Star Casse and into this Tunil. Walk down the Tunil. <laughs> oh, look. Borels. Some nice Borels sitting there. An ancient organism. X year, X month, X day. Genova confirmed to be an ancient. Ancient. Genova the ancient. X year, X month, X day, Genova Project confirmed the use of Mako Reactor 1 approved for use. <laughs> so he didn't know his mother was this unscient creature. Down the Star Casse, the winding Star Casse, back down the Tunil. Past the uh, Burrell. Look out for the Buk Kasses around you. Out of my way. I'm going to see my mummy. The music is starting. That's a bad sign. Whenever you hear that music, that's a very bad sign in this game. 
When you start hearing that that anthem, start to liquid shit in your pants, man. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> like my observations, they're just so mature. Uh, all right. Do 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 do. Little little really do do in your pants. Do 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 do. <laughs> Shinra Inc. owns the newspapers, so you can't rely on that. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened. I challenged Sephiroth and lived. Why didn't he kill me? Now, here's the thing that's really weird about all this story. This is something I never understood. Please don't spoil as of yet if you've played this game before. We just saw a flashback. Right? Cloud tells the story. Right? Okay? Tifa's in the story. Okay? Right? Fair enough. Why is Tifa not corroborating the story? Why isn't Tifa even talking about it and saying, yes, it happened like that, I was there. Right? Isn't it a little weird? Why didn't Tifa tell them the story previously if she was there? <clears throat> right? It's a little weird. If I remember correctly, there's a twist to the story later. And the twist makes absolutely no sense. Buy, isn't there a bunch of weapons and armor to buy here, I think? So, I can't help that you're stupid and you don't understand intelligent, like, conversation and intelligent commentary on something. Right? Uh, uh, wow, that was really revolting. I'm very sorry, everyone. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> the Chocobo Farm. Wark, wark, wark. Wark. Dancing Chocobo, Dancing Chocobo. Do, 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 do. They practice this a while. It's their synchronized Chocobo dance. <coughs> nice. We're still going. Receive the Choco Mog Materia. Yeah! If I ever make it big on YouTube again, will I consider out outsourcing people to edit my videos and put timestamps? That is not going to happen. <laughs> I'm a realist. <clears throat> that is definitely not going to happen. Anyway. Guts, it looks like Nightbot deleted your message. I don't know why. It might it might be that there's, it's a, there's a lot of legacy words that are blocked <laughs> from the Twitch days of people trolling on Twitch. So we have to try to fix that. <clears throat> In reality, the old band word list from Twitch was more based off of the fucking detractor memes and shit. Like, some asshole restreamer would constantly bring something up as a meme to be insulting, and so it ended up being becoming a band word. But a lot of those don't even apply anymore. <clears throat> Husband, there was no offer of anything. What don't you understand? There was no offer. I was never made an offer. I couldn't even be called on the fucking phone. So you could just throw that nonsense away. It doesn't matter what a dunce says on the internet. There was no offer of anything for me ever. It never existed. So where do I go now? I'm stuck. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Uh, Giant says you're a real one for ignoring the gnome man. 0% cloud chasing, 0% dick riding. I, I want nothing to do with that guy. Nothing at all. 
I've only said how many times over the fucking years I want nothing to do with the dude. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. He says, you at least make it 4,000 gil. What a dick. So I used all my gil, and I don't have enough to do this. What a fuckhead. So I gotta go grind for gil? Fuck this guy. Stop taking my money. He took my money. And now I can't fight. He ripped me off. Money, 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 money. Steal that money. Level up. Okay, we save again, then I guess we try the mini game, see what happens. <clears throat> la 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 la. Alright, so I'm just gonna throw this out there. If anyone was planning on contributing today via tipping, I would recommend you do it sooner rather than later so we have more time for the hat. We're only $15 away from the goal. It's just a shame that recently it seems like we had a few people come in like last minute on these streams. And when they do, boom, we hit the goals. But we hit them so late, then there's no time for polls or anything. So if anyone was thinking of contributing, I would recommend sooner rather than later so we have more time for the rewards. But if it's not the case, then no big deal. Okay. What? What is he talking about? I don't understand. I gave him another 4,000. They're saying it's still another 4,000. How does it make any sense? <laughs> I gave him 4,000. Oh, we need more. I gave you the 4,000 you asked for, but we need 4,000. This is bullshit. They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole because it always seems like no matter how much we contribute, you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. Dude, this is complete bullshit. How do you do this? I don't even understand what I'm doing. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. You have to hit OK ready with money in your inventory. What the fuck? Fuck this. This is stupid. It's wasting my time. I might as well just leave and say fuck this and never do it again. What a waste of time. I just gave this guy like 10,000 gil. Fucking asshole. Just took all my money. So I'm off to try to milk you out of money one final time. There he goes. I didn't mean to do this. We have a troll. Who is it? This guy? This guy who keeps saying he wants to super chat and have me count it towards the tips, which makes no fucking sense. It's like, I want to give you apples, but I want to count the apples towards the oranges. No. <laughs> no, we'll not count apples towards oranges. That's cool. More money? I'll always take more money. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. She's, she wrote our money. Shouldn't have done that. She robbed our money.
Rob my money! Uh, so I, I'm doing basically all the wrong menu options is what I'm being told. I'm doing all the wrong things to recruit here. <laughs> Great. Uh, oh, excuse me. Ooh, disgusting. She's gone with the nap proof. Oh, money is missing. Come on! She just keeps stealing my fucking money! I've had enough of this! She stole all my money! Isn't it ironic, don't you think? I don't understand why those one group of enemies are so hard compared to everything else in this part. They're just doing giant chunks of damage. The dickheads. So I gotta heal. This sucks. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. I'm lost. Never having a Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> okay. What are you speaking my skills? Go ahead, leave. Do whatever you want. She's gone. What was that all about? I didn't get it. Still didn't work. I was supposed to say, wait a second. Oh my fucking god. Petrified. Wait a second. So that's something for me. Is that it? You kidding? Oh my god! And now it's silent. Thank you guys for your support today. For Final Fantasy VII, I appreciate it. I fucked up. Wasted my point, my uh, SP. I feel like a dunce. Big way! Why is it so quiet? I'm playing silent Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it's so quiet here, pin drop. You can hear a mouse fart. What is going on, man? <laughs> Priscilla. Well, she's dead. Nope, she's not breathing. So she's dead. Help her. Young man, do CPR. Mouth to mouth? Hurry. But she's just a girl. You know I can't. What? You don't know how? Come over here, I'll show you. Guess I gotta do it. Take a deep breath, hold it in, and breathe it into her. Hurry up. Oh, God. What? What am I doing? What? what am I doing? What the fuck is this? Lipsy says, no, you can't earn big way. What the? She's gonna die. I don't know what's happening. She's gonna die.
think she's gone by now, dude. She's dead. She's not breathing this long. She's dead. Good, now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that. <laughs> Where's the port? I don't know where the port is. I don't know what to, what to do. It's so confusing and stupid. It really is. It's dumb. Like, what am I doing right now? How are you supposed to know where you go or what to do? Now I'm back here. Okay, now, I guess I gotta save. I don't know what else to do. It's so confusing. I have no idea where to go to even do the mission at this point. Like, I'm lost. I'm confused. I don't understand. Do I go down there? Do I go back to the city? What do I do? None of this makes any fucking sense. It's so poorly designed. It's confusing as fuck. But, progress it is, and I want to say, oh! oh yes, I want to say that, that, all that. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. John Deere says, today's Amazon Prime Day. What sweet deals did I score? I don't have any money. I literally don't. I'm trying to raise the money for my day off tomorrow. I, I really have no money. It's funny because every year I ask the same question. And every year I answer the same. I, I just don't have any money to spend on anything. It would be nice to take advantage of Prime Day. I, I, I have no money to spend, so zero, nothing, again. Why is he dancing like that? <laughs> That's the best dance ever. Actually, I want to learn how to dance like that. Look at that. Look at that dance. How do you dance? Hold on. How would you dance like that? You stand up. You gotta hop back and forth on your feet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Actually, that's a pretty good workout. That would probably burn a lot of calories to do that. You junk dance around like that. Hop, 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 hop. That's probably a good calorie burner. It's a good exercise. Probably your core's your core. All right. Uh, what do I do? I can't do. I can't get over there. They want me to go past this guy, but the game. Look, I can't. I walk. It's it's a dead end. It's a fucking dead end. Look. I can't get past him. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Does anyone know what to do here? I can't pass this asshole. I guess I'll go back down. I really have no clue what else to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I talked to everyone in the game. Same thing. Same conversation. Nothing's changed. I don't know what to do at this point. I can't I can't do anything. I'm actually I'm lot I'm soft locked. Yes, I talked to Eris. I'm, I can't do anything. I, I'm soft locked. This guy's standing in the way, and I, I can't get him to move. Look, oh, I'm pretty sure that's where they want me to go, and I can't look. I can't walk down. I can't walk around. It's all blocked. No matter where I go here, I'm blocked. I did talk to everyone. Please don't keep saying talk to everyone. I already did. <clears throat> I talked to this guy a hundred times. So I don't know what to do. She just changed her tune. Did you see Barrett? Hope he's not doing anything stupid. So now can I go find Barrett? Maybe now Barrett appears because she said that. She didn't say that before.
Ah, my God. All right. Why is Barrett wearing a sailor's uniform? No one else was. How can he going off laughing like that? Because of him, Biggs, Wedge, Jesse? Ugh. Don, I can't take it anymore. I'm going to settle things here and now. Emergency alert. Reports of a stowaway found. Those not on detail, search the ship. Report when found. All employees. Report to the platform. All employees. I repeat, stowaway sighted on board. Those not on detail, search the ship. Report when found. All employees. Damn, did they find us? Hmm, I don't think it's us. Did they find Tifa and the others? Get off your spiky butt and let's go, Cloud. All employees. John Smith just did a $5 super chat. It says, to another 14 years. Thank you, John. Indeed. I would love to do this for another 14 years and onward. Of course, what I'd like to do ideally is diversify my content instead of just doing all gameplay uh, and, and a podcast, which I do right now. I'd like to do more various different kinds of stuff, maybe different kinds of commentary and things over the years. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thank you. Thank you. Why are you laughing since still streaming at 54? Likely I will be. What else am I going to do? Pick my ass? They don't pay you for that. All right. Oh! Low, ice is leveled up. That means we're going to have a level 2 ice spell now. That's cool. Chris just tipped me a dollar fifty. said this should cover inflation on this week's cherry juice. I wish. I told you guys that a regular bottle of the cherry juice that I buy costs about anywhere from three fifty to $5 one bottle, depending on if there's a sale. And I have to get three of them a week because each bottle is only like one glass. And I have to drink it, try to drink it every day. And one day I don't to save money. So just think about that. I'm spending anywhere from $10 to $15 a week just on juice. And I have to. I have to. Instead, I've tried not drinking it and it didn't work out too well. Because I have no idea. It's a pretty hideous creature. Is it an alien? Is it a creature from under the underground? Is it mutation? I don't know, but it's dead. <clears throat> Nicely done. You kicked its ass. Yes, you won. You kicked its ass. You fucked it up, and now it's dead. Your level up material the all has reached a new level. Oh, I got a white cape. A white cape item. Hopefully, it's good. Cool. And there's a material on the ground. That's what disappeared from the Shinra building. Genova, the arm of Genova. Genova with with this thing. <clears throat> so it was Sephiroth. The time is now. What does that mean? Time is now. Huh? I don't get it. Can you explain it to us? I'll try. Don't interrupt me while I'm explaining. What a dickhead. What a thing to say. Was for the Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, you stupid anime bitch. Suntan. Is there anything to the left? Like this way. Yeah, it's the overworld. I'm not... Look, I'm literally not doing anything. I guess my right thumbstick's so touchy he thought I was holding a direction when I wasn't. <laughs> wow. Okay. Talk about touchy. Lancaster Wilson did a $5 super chat saying, why do you have to go out every week to eat? Wouldn't you save money by eating at home? All right, so Lancaster, it's obvious you wouldn't understand this because the, the fact you're asking the question just proves the point that you have no idea what you're talking about, all right? <clears throat> when you are married, okay, you like to maybe spend some time with your significant other, Okay. I get to spend a little bit of time with my wife every day. Usually I see her first thing in the morning for a little bit. Then I'm on stream all day. Maybe during a break I get to see her. Some days I'm lucky enough to see her for dinner at home. Some days I'm not. Today, I'm literally eating leftovers because she's at work. I won't get to see her until late at night tonight when she gets home. Then I'll get to see her for maybe an hour, an hour and a half, and then we go to sleep. Okay? So in a whole given day, some days I'm lucky I get to see my wife a little more. Some days I don't get to see her much at all. All right? Once a week... I get a day off with my wife. Now, all week long, we've been working, not spending time with each other, or rushing to get things done, and we've been cooking and eating food at home all, all week long. All the meals, okay? 
once a week, I get an opportunity to essentially spend some special time with my wife and maybe go out and do something with her, like have a meal outside of the home. It's basically like a date time. You know what I'm saying? Like once a week, you get to maybe go on like a little small date with my wife. Now, <clears throat> ideally, sadly, it's not what I want. I want us to have a whole day where we can just do fun stuff together and have a real date day. We don't. Since I only have one day off a week, I have to cram in everything I need to get done off stream in one day. That includes grocery shopping, any kind of appointments, whether they be doctor appointments, legal appointments, bank appointments, whatever it may be. All those appointments have to happen on this day. Buying supplies for Jasper, our pet. Buying other supplies and things for the home. If something breaks down this week, if we run out of something this week and we have to go somewhere to get it, we have to do that all on our day off. All in all, an all day that I consider a day off from streaming, probably about 75% of that day is running around doing shit that I really isn't fun. It's busy work. It's things you have to do when you're an adult. But preferably, you'd like to do it not when you're trying to have time with your family. You see? But I have to because that's the only time I get off. So, 25% of one day a week, I actually get to do something nice with my wife. We would prefer to go have a meal outside of the home or maybe order a meal in rather than have to cook again and have another meal at home, which isn't special. It's the same of what we do every day, all week long, okay? So it's not just, oh, you eat out every week, once a week, you're spending money, you don't have money. It's our time together once a week. It's literally like the one thing we get to do special once a week. So now you're saying get rid of that too, okay? So here's what I have to say to you. Fuck you. You're a fucking stupid idiot. You're here to criticize when you don't understand anything. And you're, what you're saying has no meaning. What you're trying to do is act like I'm some kind of an irresponsible, overspending idiot. And that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. You don't know. You don't live it. You're a scumbag for even asking the dumb question, really. And even if, oh, I didn't mean it that way. You're a fucking intrusive jerk. Why would you even ask that question? Why are you implying that I don't know how to fucking handle myself in my life? It's not your fucking business to ask it on a streamer's stream and to derail the fucking stream after tell a story because you're an idiot, okay? So go fuck yourself. I don't need your super chat. I don't need your dumb questions. You're going to insult me on my fucking stream. I've already answered this question a million times in the past, by the way. But you got to come and ask it again, right? So fuck off and don't ask stupid questions on my stream that are going to piss me off, okay? Yes, I deserve once a week to spend 25% of one day doing something nice with my wife. I do deserve that. Yes. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I'm sorry if I came off offensive there because I am. I'm offended. I'm legitimately offended when dumbasses ask me questions like that. Like, oh, you're such an irresponsible person. How dare you try to do one thing with your wife a week? Oh, horrible idea, right? Like, geez, dude. Shut up. Like, what a fucking thing to say. <clears throat> One thing that's actually quite quite important that really I should emphasize, okay? I am not beholden to every person on the internet who seems to think that they can hold me to some kind of a weird standard of judgment. I'm not beholden to anyone. I'm not. I'm beholden to myself and my family and my wife. That's what matters. Not what some dickhead on the internet is saying about me or, or spinning it in a way that's completely fake and bullshit. None of that matters. None of it, you know? The problem is these idiots then go out and make entire streams, entire completely blasphemous things about me. Say, so, oh, you see, the reason that Phil uh, has no money is because he's irresponsible with his money. He blows it on his meals out a week, and he's a raging alcoholic who spends thousands of dollars a month on liquor, and he blows his money on online gambling and on fucking mo mobile games and shit, and none of it is true. Not a single one of those things is fucking true. It's all bullshit, but they get away with it because there's no defense against it on the internet. And then you get idiots like that who come, eh, maybe if you didn't go out once a week and eat, blow all your money. Fuck off. I don't have to answer to you at all. You are not some kind of judge or judge for me. You're not the fucking judges from Judge Dredd making the law. You disobeyed the internet law. Now I judge you on your stream. Go fuck yourself, man. Like, who the fuck are you? You're a nobody. Who, I don't even care. I don't, you know, that's the funny, judge me because I'm the streamer. But don't judge yourself. Don't look at yourself and the dumb shit you fucking say and do every day. I gotta be perfect, right? Because I'm some fucking internet streamer. No, I don't have to be. I can do whatever I want with my life, and you can fuck off and not ask me dumb questions. Okay. Because the only way we can make ends meet around here is now is by collecting junk. Oh, I can actually go into this tent. I didn't realize it. 
<clears throat> the next train's coming in soon. Grandpa used to be a coal train engineer. He can't he still can't kick his old habits from then. So he's still talking. He's talking as if he's still an engineer when apparently he's not and there's no coal train anymore. Right? I have no idea. What the hell? Listen, just listen to this. Gray Fox RJ says, Thoughts on open relationships. I have no idea where the hell that question's coming from. Do you want my honest take? I don't think there's a, such a thing as an open relationship. If you're in an open relationship, it's not a real relationship. You're basically attached to someone like a friends with benefits deal. But if you're truly in love with someone, this is my opinion. If you're truly in love with someone, you don't want to be sleeping around with other people. You don't want to be having romantic feelings towards anyone else. You just want to have that one relationship with that one person. If you have an open relationship, essentially what you have is a half relationship because someone can't commit or someone's not exactly sure you're the right person. That's not good. That is a recipe for disaster. Really, it is. A huge recipe for disaster. You don't have a real relationship with an open relationship. Admit that and accept it and be okay with it, by the way, when it falls apart. Don't act like this was some kind of committed relationship, but you're allowing your significant other to go sleep around and spend romantic time with other people and then expect that somehow forever they're still going to love you and go come back to you. You know what I'm saying? So that's my take on it. And you guys can completely disagree with me, and that's fine, but that's my take. I, don't, I would never do anything like that. That's completely stupid in my opinion, and you're just setting yourself up for pain, suffering, and disaster in the long run, okay? Seriously, like, if you're starting a relationship with someone, oh, I only like open relationships, you know? What's wrong with me? I'm not good enough to be your significant other. Then, then you're basically degrading me. Why do I want to be with you then, you know? And in, in truth, and here's another thing, too. If you're fully committed to a relationship, you don't have time for others. If you're fully committed to a relationship, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, effort. It, how do you have time to spend all this other time with other people? Then you didn't have a real committed relationship to begin with because you should have been together doing shit. Where's the split responsibility? Where's the split everything? It's not even, it doesn't even make sense to me. Again, because it's not a real relationship in my opinion. All right, so it looks like, guys, we're going to our first trip to the Golden Saucer. By the way, shout out to everyone who liked the stream today. We hit 100 likes, which is very nice of you. Ordinary luck. It will be an active fortune. Give into the goodwill of others and something will happen after summer. Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me try again. Be careful of forgetting all the Your lucky color is blue. Forget this. Wait, give me another chance. Let me try it again. What the? What? What you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. Oh, foreboding. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I ever got something like this. Shall we? What are you talking about? Being a fortune teller, this is going to bug me. I don't see how... If I, if I don't see how it turns out, I'll never be able to relax, so I'm going with you. What? What are we going to do, Cloud? I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Hey! We're stuck with him. We are stuck with him. We can't get rid of him. We're stuck with Kate Sith for now. I'm just going high, mid, low, and it's working. High, mid, low. It's where I'm hitting him more times than he's hitting me. Clashing on a lot of these, but I'm getting more than him. Yup, I beat him. <clears throat> oh my god, look at this guy. Help, he's black! Because you know when he's black, there's gonna be trouble. Now he's hitting me way more than I'm hitting him. Yep. So it's bullshit because it can just do whatever it wants. <laughs> I'm Tyrone and I'm here. And I don't know what the rest TOF. I don't even know what that means. Probably here to fuck or something. It's disgusting. That you would... Barrett. Did you? 
Stay back. This is something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. Whew, that's one of your friends. He sure looks dangerous. Cloud, what should we do? Barrett's not his normal cell. Didn't want none of you to get involved. Hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. So, so again, to shout out to everyone who contributed in any way today in any positive fashion. I really appreciate that. Until next time, later in the week. Peace out. Awesome. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. We had some interesting developments last time around where we ended up at the Golden Saucer. We were doing some games and fun, and then we got arrested and... Barrett, don't you ever make her cry. Don? Don! No! No! Dime, me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. No, I hit record. We're recording. We're definitely recording for the YouTube viewers on demand. Hope you're enjoying Final Fantasy VII times three speed with Klim Hazard. Oh! oh dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How nice. Great music. Dun, 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 dun. We're at 551 members on the channel. Thank you all. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your support. Dun, 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 dun. All right. <clears throat> God says, I heard the story in Rebirth will remain unchanged. The more like this from the producers behind the game. Oh. I guess we'll see. I don't know. Xander Cruz is a lot of PC talk in the chat. Can we get some end to that talk for now? Yeah. Sure. Guys. You guys want to talk about the game? We got about another 40 minutes left on the stream. I know you guys are talking PC parts, but we're not, we're not doing that talk right now. We're not. So you're kind of wasting your time. <laughs> okay. Hey, By the way, guys, you can talk over. in the chat. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. You can actually speak on my streams. Thank you for 100 likes on the stream, though. I really appreciate that. Thank you, guys, for the engagement. You never played this boomer game, Skis TV? Well, it's time to pull your head out of your fucking ass and start playing good video games. How about that? How about you stop playing your little memester games like Among Us and Fortnite and you play something good? Put some hair on your fucking balls, huh? <laughs> yeah, why don't you get to it, you son of a bitch? How about that? You'll be a bitch in the chat, right? Fuck off. Grow up and fuck off, man. What do you think I was going to say to that? <clears throat> if people could just be nice to me for a change. If people could just fucking give me a break. I need it. I can't, you know, I'm to the point where it's like, I can't, you know, you get to a breaking point. And thank God I'm not there yet, but... <sighs> we have to get her to get a new limit break, right? She's still using the level one limit break or some shit. I think she is. Now we're down to 99 likes. Someone took their like away. That's unacceptable. Whoever did that, you're in big trouble. I'm going to find out who you are. Jernbeck, I've definitely heard some people have recommended Final Fantasy XIV to me. I've never played it myself. But maybe someday. That looks like a Switch. Doesn't it look like a Switch? I can't touch it, though. They won't let me. Ah, oh, shit. What's up, Tyrone? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hobo X says, there's a rumor about a Metroid Prime, Prime Trilogy coming out this holiday. Would I be interested in that? I mean, I played the first one, so maybe I would play two. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's some interest there for sure. Oh, no. Oh! That really hurt. All right. Very nice, guys. Thank you for your, your support. Thank you for the fun today, as always. Until we play it. Did I say? Wait a minute. 
I did. I just said it right there. Until next time, in a couple of days. Thank you, and peace. So people are saying if I come back later in the game and you do that again, you'll get a reward, but I can't get the reward right now. That sucks. I want it right now. I demand my reward instantly. I don't want to wait. I'm an impatient individual. Now, this was Cloud's house. <laughs> Things are not going very well right now, just so you guys know. The hardship is sitting, is sitting here playing this game. Stupid. Nigger. Give me the money, uh, bitch. Sir, don't say such awful things. I was born and raised in this town. What you say never happened. You're lying. <clears throat> Excuse me, Prince El Artifa. That's so rude. If you're going to talk like that, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Bah. High school reunion. Must brag of cryptocurrency investment portfolio. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Damn. That jackpot right there. Level up a vampire fang. What in the hell do I use that for? Sucking blood? Danny the foot. Has done a super chat of a peach. It's actually a, uh, whatchamacallit. Um. It is a, uh. Super sticker of a peach. Thank you to Danny the Foot. Oh, really? I'm being told. To go heal up and save before I open the safe. Because apparently there's a boss in the safe. Oh. Great. A boss in the fucking safe, huh? How nice. Well, thank you for warning me. Handheld fat guy. Well, I don't know who the hell you're talking about because I'm certainly not getting my hand held. I'm not fat. Stuff over his life. Um, <clears throat> Alex from Phoenix. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alex from Phoenix. Can you take a little longer, please? Miss, why did he use it on Barry? I fucking pointed to Tifa. Oh my god. Now I'm starting to get upset with this bullshit. Phoenix down on fucking Tifa. Not on Barry, on Tifa, you fucking asshole. Oh my god. What the fuck? He did it again. He seriously keeps doing it. Because I can't see where to use it. Look, how can I tell what this is pointing at? It's pointing on both of them. Look at this bullshit. Look how terrible this shit is. Tifa, you fucking piece of shit. God, you're dumb. This fucking dunce. Dunce level. Now someone else is gonna die. Oh my god. It's so stupid. They fucking kill her again. I just revived her. I can't, I can't see, see shit. shit. Why the fuck don't I see it? Am I blind? Getting a lot of levels here. But I guess we're screwed. I guess I can't get... There's two items in this room. I don't even know what they are, but apparently I can't get them. No one's helping me either. No one's giving me any help, so I, I'm assuming I'm right. Uh... Yeah, look, that's a materia too, and I can't seem to get it. I don't know how I would get it. How do you get that materia? All right, look, I'm clicking on everything here. I don't see a way to get it. All ice. How about that? I like this song. Well, Dwayne just earned himself a permanent ban by saying a word that's not allowed and insulting someone else. I bet the owner of this, gun, this store is a real gun fanatic. Congrats, Dwayne, on saying something fucked up and getting banned, you idiot. <clears throat> Anything in here? 
No, Dwayne's out here permanently. You guys have no idea what he said. He was really fucked up what he said to another chatter here. So I just banned him. He's an asshole. You're like, it's, it's completely disrespectful to be insulting other chatters. You're not, it's not allowed. And there's no no uh, leniency on that. I think this is a good, a good place to call it quits for today, everyone. This was a great stream, great progress, right? So I want to say thank you one, yet again. Another stream, tons of engagement, tons of interaction, tons of support, tons of everything good, man. It was a great stream. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Again, I don't remember the order that things happen, so this is kind of neat to re-experience this with all of you. I hope you're all enjoying it as much as I am. I'm having a, a great, relaxing time every time we play this, seriously. So thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. This is actually the first time that I'm streaming the game back to back. I haven't actually done two days in a row of the game since I started with this playthrough some 20 hours ago. Sorry, we're entirely sold out. What's this here? Uh, no, that's a sample. Yeah, sample. Sorry, but why don't you come back later? Sorry, I, uh, never mind. So basically we're outsiders. They're not gonna, they're not gonna be nice to you. Apparently they don't like outsiders, right? We've seen this stumbled upon a town of people who just don't like outsiders at all. Can I take a quick break to clean the chat and black and ban people? Okay, here we go. Let's see. Here's a guy. He's out of here. Hold on. Let me take a quick look. Sorry, everyone. Give me a minute. Let's see. One. Bye. Bye. All right, I got rid of two idiots. No valid like you may not be banned. You're, you're you're are not permitted to be banned. Sorry. Ban, 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 and then we're gonna continue on like normal fucking humans and not idiots. It's good though. Guga, what do you want? Don't have ga anything much, but you should have to be able to goo. Rest yourselves here. Goo ga. Make yourselves at home. Why is it saying goo ga? What a jerk. Maybe he's saying goo gots. I don't think he's saying goo gots. No, I don't think so. And what do they get? Goo gots. That's what they got. You. Ho ho. Ho ho. What the? Ho he ho he ho ha ha! Corneo? Ho oh, hi! I finally got a new chicky! Two for one, in fact. Hehe. <laughs> Two? Hey, let go of me! You're gonna regret this! What the hell? <clears throat> now we're gonna avoid perverted stuff. I don't want people being perverted because, you know. to kill. I guess I get this one win too. It's eight battles? Oh fuck. There's no way I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm dead. They're all gonna pile on me before I can even move. Yep. Failure is an option. Have your whole party fall in battle. What's the That's the best you can do. I promise to promise. Go ahead and take it. We shall meet again. So. Oh my god. Skis TV. I'm not going to tell you my top five favorite diseases right now. It's time for you to relax. Okay. And I know you probably can't see it very well. Because this is a, a, you know, a 1080p webcam. It's not very clear. You probably can't, you know, you can't even tell from that shot at all. My foot is incredibly swollen. You cannot tell from what I wanted to show you there. Hee <laughs> hee. What's wrong? Let's go on a date. Oh, God. What? 
a day or have you ever gone on one? Oh my god. Not a real one. I'm married, stupid! When I press a button, he does this. Look. Eh. 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 Oh. And the thumbstick does this. Eh. Oh. Eh. Oh. Eh. 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 Oh. Oh. Eh. Oh. 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 <laughs> it's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. So, it's the required, the required date mission. I got, I got, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, baby. It took me a dollar and says, am I going to skip romance missions? I'm going to do the ones that obviously are essential for the plot. If you take the buggy into Costa del Sol and ride the boat back overseas, the buggy comes with you. I I'm in the airship going across the water. You tell me to go to the buggy. I <laughs> know. I'm not doing that. We're already in the ship crossing the entire map. I'm not going back to the buggy now. Save up and try again. So thank you, Megafuse, for the very generous tip. I really appreciate that. So as you can see, it was a slower day, so I appreciate the support. And again, guys, with about half an hour left, <clears throat> any... Any support you guys could lend is much appreciated. Money, money, money that I got to spend, spend, spend. By the way, I really desperately need the money. Mr. Durden says some advice for you and your viewers on the YouTube homepage is an X on the right of the tab for shorts. Use that to tell YouTube you're not interested. We need to give our feedback. Here's the thing with YouTube. I don't mind them focusing on things that I don't, I'm not interested in or doing. Let them do things with shorts or whatever. But the problem is when they put all of their efforts and focus into that. They could easily be focusing on so many things to improve YouTube, including the live streaming and bringing a streaming audience over. What do they do? Focus on shorts and try to copy TikTok. Like, dude, fucking wake the fuck up. Start running your business and, like, a, like, a, like a smart person and cater to your strengths. Not something that you have no strengths in whatsoever. It's just, it's dunderheaded the way they run the fucking business. Yeah, you can't get there. You just can't. You can't get there because you need the vehicle, and the vehicle's on the other side of the fucking map. You need the car. I just told him you need the car. See? So why, if he told me that, I would have went and got the car. I'm driving around in circles like an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I suspected as much. I'm driving in circles. I'm like, uh, I don't see it, man. Okay, go get the car. And we gotta completely backtrack, right? Drive all the way back. You take the buggy to Costa del Sol and ride the boat back overseas, the buggy comes with you. I'm, I'm in the airship going across the water, you tell me to go to the buggy. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. We're already in the ship crossing the entire map. I'm not going back to the buggy now. No, we're not playing more of this tonight. No sleep real vibes. <laughs> Definitely not. I hope next time I play this where people show up. I don't know what happened today that there was low attendance. Oh, the engagement actually really slowed down. Weird. Thank you guys for helping me in the last hour. I appreciate that. All right, so let's save up. This has been a very productive stream. Tons of progress, right? I'm glad that we got all those good monster abilities. That's excellent. <clears throat> and the uh, next time around, it looks like we will be heading into the Temple of Ancients, which means we're going to basically be adjourning Disc 1 and heading into the, the major story developments of the game. So it was good stuff. I apologize that it did slow down at one bit where people weren't talking that much. I don't know what happened. At least we did get a final hour of activity here. And like I said, next time around, it is definitely giant story developments. So hopefully people will, will show up for the next one. All right, guys. Thank you. Until next time. Awesome. 
Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. It has been a bit since I played this game. Let me lower the volume a little bit because I know this game is actually quite loud. Um, it's been about a week since I had a chance to play this. Ha, ah, there he is. There he is. Everyone's so quiet in the chat today, I don't know why. There it is, the Sephiroth theme. Sephiroth! Oh, they don't have anything to steal. That sucks. Daggy says, oh, you're almost 600 members. Maybe we'll get 1,000 by the end of the year. We actually had... Uh, we actually did have uh, 634. That's the highest we've had so far. Yeah, so the most we have is 634 members. I think later this year... We'll definitely have more members. Being that, you know, I definitely have some very generous viewers. And, you know, especially when we head into the holiday season, when there's a bunch of new games out, it's going to be just like it was on Twitch. See, last year was a big missed opportunity because usually at the end of the year on Twitch, that's exactly what would happen. Some generous people would come in and they would basically gift a ton on, on Twitch. And I couldn't do that last year. So, yeah, you know, usually at the end of the year, we get a lot of generous people who come on here. And, and help out on the streams. And we did not have that opportunity this year because sadly, well, last year, I should say, because I was here on YouTube, they didn't have gifted memberships. Now they do. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that. We'll see. Daggy says, I remember on Twitch, I called you having over a thousand members and you didn't believe me at first and then it happened. Well, if you remember, that's because it was uh, <clears throat> Emerald 7. Whoever that was, because no one knows to this day who that was, who came on and gifted an insane amount of tier three members or uh, subscriptions over there. You cannot gift higher level memberships here, by the way. You can only gift the, the level one memberships. Also, people have to opt in here to get a membership. So the thing is. There may be a limit to the amount of people who opt in to get them. So we might not be able to have, like, for example, you might say, oh, can you get a thousand members? Well, we might not have a thousand people who've opted in. And since that's the case, we might not be able to get that many. See what I mean? <laughs> Black materia. Yeah. <laughs> Call meteor. Cloud, get a hold of yourself. Ah, uh, Cloud? I'm Cloud? How should I? Aqualung! Ooh, yeah! Damn, a thousand. Good shit. Aqualung! Aqualung! Yeah, we already heard that, dumbass. Wasn't funny the first time, you piece of shit. <laughs> Double level up. The Gygus Armlet. I lost... I can't speak. <laughs> this isn't good. I can't say it. Portifa. No, tell me. I promise I won't get mad. Is that so? Then I'll tell you. Looks good. You're a perfect pair for each other. Oh my god. How stupid. Eris is star and Cloud star. They show a great future. Cloud, I'll be your matchmaker, preacher. I'll do whatever you want me to. You just call me when it all happens. Wow. Eris! Eris? Eris! Eris? Eris! I think. Giga is pronounced Giga, because it comes to the Greek word for giant, kind of like gigabyte. Okay, so it's Giga. I always say Giga. I don't know why, but I always pronounce it the wrong way, right? Ultimate Shadow says, go to the northern continent, Bone Village. I have seen that earlier. I recall it, and I got to remember how to get there. Northern icy areas. Okay. 
Me boy Cyclone said, figure it out, Phil. Just figure it out for yourself. Why would I turn the stream off? I play it myself. What do you think? <laughs> Is that what I should do? Just play by myself? You guys don't want to watch? That's fine. I can turn the stream off, B-Boy Cyclone, if that's what you want. It's fine. I'll, I'll totally enjoy the game by myself. <laughs> Dumb thing to say. How dare you? How dare you say that to me? I'm very upset now. You piss. Execute clown mode. Uh-oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Shit on a shingle. Shit ass. Fuck. Shit. Come on. Put it. No. Uh oh. No! Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> oh no! What are you making me do? Oh no, gameplay recording was paused. I totally was recording at that moment. Oh no! Deactivate the clown mode. Well, it happened. Now, just a, a little bit of reference for you guys, because I've actually always wanted to talk about this scene. Um, ever since I first saw it in this in the '90s. So when it first happened, and I first played this game, it was very rare in a video game that someone could become mortally wounded, and especially a main character. Like usually, it would be like a bait and switch. Now, I had played Final Fantasy 4 and 6, and in both of those games, characters pass away right in the middle of the game. So, I was no stranger to losing a character that was a playable character. But, when this happened, the entire time it happened, I was like, nah, this is bullshit. I was like, this is all trick. Something's gonna happen. She's gonna use, they're gonna use magic. They're gonna use materia. They're gonna revive her. And it's not, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, I always kept saying at the end of the game, this is all gonna be undone. Even in the end, I was like, nah, at the end of the game, when you beat the game, watch, she comes back at the end. And when the game ended, I was like, oh, fuck. It finally dawned on me. Because seriously, like, <clears throat> there was so many, this was such a moment that, that resonated with so many people. Like, Eris is one of the best characters in the game at this point. She's a strong healer, strong magic user. Her limit breaks are powerful. She's really good. And then it's like, what the fuck? Just got impaled by Sephiroth. And look at him. Not only does he impale her, but then he locks himself into a cocky T pose behind her as if to celebrate like a wrestler or something. Ah! He's a piece of shit. And an anonymous tipper to me in $1.50 said, you remember all the misinformation surrounding Aerith's death back in the day? So many people were saying you could save her if you did it X and Y and Z. Yes, of course, because that's the thing. So many people liked the character. And felt a strong connection to her being one of the best characters in the game that then they were very upset when this happened and people were like oh i bet you know i bet that there's a way to save her and then they would make shit up but all right let's continue <clears throat> this can't be real do not worry soon the girl will become part of the planet's energy all that is left is to go north the promised land waits for me over the snowy fields. There, I will become a new... Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. The cycle of nature and your stupid plan don't mean a thing. Eris is gone. Eris will no longer walk, talk, 
no longer cry, laugh. She can't get angry. What about us? What are we supposed to do? What is this pain? My fingers are tingling. My mouth is dry. My eyes are burning. What are you saying? Are you trying to tell me you have feelings now? Of course, what do you think I am? <laughs> Stop acting as if you're sad. And there's no need to act as if you're angry either. Because Cloud, you are... A gay boy. And that we're gonna make love to each other tonight. Oh, email! Just dropped a 10 member bomb on the chat. Congrats to Lemon Cat, Bacon Boy, Big Old Bean 13, Paul Brown, Lummox a Hired Hoodlum, Jeremy Kyle, Angel Ray Fernandez, Sweets, Gavin W, and Duran, who all just got a gifted membership. Magic Plus Materia has been obtained. Did you see that? So, guys, thank you so much. Great progress. Great stream of Final Fantasy VII. Great interactions. Great support. Everything great. Zero complaints from me. This was a stupendous stream. Now, here's the thing. You guys are going to help determine the next time I play this game. It could either be, listen up, this coming Wednesday or this coming Friday. Thursday is my day off. What we're going to do is tomorrow on my level one podcast in the morning, I'm going to put up a poll on the main channel page of DSP Gaming right here, all right, on the community tab. On that poll, you're going to get to vote on if you want to see this or Batman on the first stream. Batman Arkham Asylum, that is, which is starting tomorrow on the first stream on Wednesday. So you guys will vote. Be, keep your eyes peeled for that, all right? Shout out to Emil who did five more memberships. One to Canada number one. On the Nemesis T-Type, James Garfield, Senator Zen, and Bob D. All just received gifted memberships. All right? So thank you guys so much. Had a ton of fun. Had a great progress. And when we come back, we'll be in the Icicle area. Thank you all. Two thumbs up. Until next time. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. How's everyone? I hope you've been doing well and you're ready for more been uh, a bit since I played it. You know, in the last week I've been busy juggling a lot of different things. Oh, chocobo traps? There's actually wild chocobos out here. Interesting. <clears throat> I wonder if there's any, any special chocobos I'm supposed to be catching or not. Uh oh, alright. Oh, God, hold on. Oh. No, oh, I'm just kidding. Daughter's record, 20th day after birth. <laughs> is... Oh, I already answered that. It's already... Oh, it's in conversation. Here's the bathroom. What are you looking at? Is he naked? He is! He's completely naked. The man is completely naked standing in there. You're a real freakazoid, aren't you? We open the bathroom door to see a completely nude man, and this is just normal behavior for this game. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, this game is something else. A completely nude guy in the bathroom. And he says, you're a freakazoid. He calls you a freakazoid. Gamers are fags! Fuck you! Cloud Huff Wheeze. I won't let you go any further. What's down there? It's a secret. Really doesn't matter. You got you really got guts messing my boss up like that. You mean your boss sang? That wasn't us. That was Sephiroth who did it. <clears throat> no, liar! Well, don't think you can fool me. Uh, I'm not lying. It was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh man. Looks like just talking won't do. You're gonna have to feel some pain. Just you and me. No, I can handle him. There's no way he can avoid my punch. Dodge that punch. Uh... Why didn't you try to duck? 
There's no way they could climb the Great Glacier anyway. Put them in the house, same house of the village. What? <clears throat> You got knocked the fuck out! <laughs> Moogles! Oh! <laughs> Would you like to build a Moogle snowman? Go careening into his face. Do you want to play some I'm Fortnite sure and do a goofy dance? Do you want to build a tower and jump off and blow it up with rockets and spend $40 million on microtransactions? Wow, these graphics, uh... Hmm. Groundbreaking stuff. So do you understand, like, at a time when everyone was so adamant this is, like, the best Final Fantasy, I'm playing I'm like, dude, these blocky-ass 3D graphics look like shit. The combat frame rate is choppy. Why, why is it? Oh my god, seriously, I got no balloons. Why is it that I felt the graphics of, like, like Final Fantasy VI? Oh, I got the blue one. The graphics of Final Fantasy VI looked better to me than the graphics of this game, you see? And that's what kind of got me. I never really understood why people thought these graphics were so good when they were so choppy, you know? I'm, I would never been a graphics, a graphics, uh aficionado I guess I just never will have it's nice if a game has some pretty graphics but I don't need it you know I missed it oh 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 I got nothing I got that one I counted apparently I guess if you have enough air you do it like a backflip I got like no balloons. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Now I gotta dodge the trees. Great. Oh, this will be fun. Oh yeah, 2D trees in a 3D plane. Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> It still gets me while people were like, oh, this is so good. What are you talking about? It was so bad. Even then, I, I thought it looked like shit. You know, today we look at it and we're like, okay, now it definitely looks like shit. But back then, people were in love with this. They're like, oh my god, Final Fantasy VII. The best looking game ever. The best RPG. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I would prefer the 2D sprites. If the technology's not there to do 3D well enough, then just keep it... Keep it 2D. I would have preferred this being a 2D game like Final Fantasy VI, honestly. We got a fake one-minute man that's not getting banned. Fuck off. Okay. How can I tell it was a fake one-minute man? Because one-minute man has literally never been on a stream like that. He uh, tips behind the scenes and has never been in the chat once. So why would he be there now? It doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> what is my favorite type of cave? Oh, uh... Uh, uh, salt mines. The salt mines are my favorite caves, if you didn't know. Who wouldn't like salt mines? I, that's where the, the salt is, apparently. I just answered that my favorite type of cave is a salt mine. Now stop asking the same dumb question when I already answered it with a stupid meme. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm not doing a 24-hour stream ever. Stop asking that, too. I've already answered that a million times in the past. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. There you go. Philip Firm Burnell. I'm being told by Vitek USA my new nickname is Firm. It's because I'm very firm in my demeanor. That's why everyone knows that. Rich is a whore. I'm sorry. Rich is a whore. Seriously, like that guy is such a two faced fat piece of shit. So, Rich, are you here? Because I'm just curious. I, I don't. Obviously. All I hear is what people tell me. I'm, I don't watch your stuff. Just like I don't watch Wings of Redemption. I don't watch anyone else's stuff. But I constantly have people coming on my street telling me, Are you aware that Review Tech USA is watching your detractor videos right now? And he's talking all about defamatory stuff. Like, every time you do that, you realize that people come here and, and do that every time. <laughs> every fucking time, dude. Like, literally every time without, without exception. I wonder why you do it. Oh, here's the cave, by the way. I wonder why you do it, because you know it's just gonna cause shit. 
you know. He's worthless. He could just disappear from YouTube tomorrow, and no one would give a fuck. Everyone would be like, oh, well, go to the next drama guy. Versus someone like me, if I disappeared from YouTube, how many other people are there like me on YouTube right now that are genuine gamers who are doing it the way I still do it? They're not doing these highly fucking polished, edited, scripted bullshit. They're doing genuine gameplay and stuff like me. No, everyone's abandoned my formula because it's not nearly as lucrative as doing it the other way around. But I stuck to my guns and I still do what I do. If I disappear from YouTube, there's a huge gap missing. If he disappears from YouTube, fucking who gives a shit? Wipe your ass with him and go fucking watch the next drama guy who's exactly the same, right? So I guess review tech's not going to answer my question, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I ask him a question, he completely just... Completely just zips it. Zips it up. <clears throat> By the way, he'll probably be watching more detractor videos later tonight. <laughs> he don't want me to blow up his spot, I guess. <clears throat> the real one minute man, who's not the real one minute man, did give another dollar now. And says... Uh... You could play Tekken Virtual Fighter King of Fighters just for fun and casually, not competitively on Friday nights, just a suggestion. As I said, again, you were talking about retro games offline play. Yes, I'm not going to play modern fighters online. I'm never going to be able to learn them and win a match. It's a waste of time. The thing is that people seem to have this really odd misconception that you could just get any fighting game, play it online, and it's fun. It's not. If I play any, like, for example, right now, if I were to play Tekken 7, it would be lose, 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 get spanked constantly, and it's zero fun. Because I haven't played the game in years, I don't understand the meta of it. I don't have enough knowledge of the game to win. I would have to be playing it and being in the lab and, and seeing the new strategies and everything to have any kind of an impact on playing the game, you see? So, it's a waste of time. Ah, I got to the spring again. I touched it again. Okay. So. I think we're at the caves now, so I should head south. Yes, I should. AJ Gamer. So anyway, to summarize, there's no point in playing th those kind of competitive games casually. Here's why. There's people who literally play it nonstop since it came out. They play it as their fun main game. They, I, you know, I don't want to call them tryhards because it's not necessarily the case. It's just people who love the game and play it like crazy. For example... Right now, if I play King of Fighters, I would not even get close to winning a single match. There's people who've been playing it for three, four months since it came out. Those are the people who are still playing it. The casual players like me dropped it and stopped playing and went on to do other things. The only way you can really enjoy a fighting game, unless you have a lot of expertise, is to play at a launch. Play it when everyone's on the same page and just learning, and then you'll have a lot of fun. But once people start learning the meta and the strategies, now you basically you have to learn it or you're boned. And I don't have the time to invest in it to do that. So, no, it doesn't make any sense for me to play Tekken, King of Fighters, Virtual Fighter casually on a Friday night. It would literally be lost, 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 not understanding anything. It would just be frustration and not fun. I play Ultra Street Fighter because I have a prerequisite knowledge of those games. And even though I might not necessarily play them competitively like a lot of people do, I would still have a chance to hang with people and, and win, which is fun to me. I don't have a desire to just stand there and lose for two hours straight. It's not fun to me. Especially because I just don't even understand what's going on in the game. Like, that's but stupid. You know? So, no, I'm not doing it. It's a waste of everyone's time, including mine. It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Guess what? Wrong. James said, by the way, thank you to the real One Minute Man, who's not really One Minute Man. We did hit the Gunner Glasses goal now. And again, guys, it would be really great if you guys could support the stream today in any way. But tips would be great. I had five straight slow tip days in a row before today. Um, it would be great to start off the, the week strong. By the way, I need money to buy food for tomorrow. And that's what the tips are going towards. Oh, I've done this cave already. Okay. If you're bringing all that money from kids, there's obviously a problem here. And it's with me. It's with your money management skills. Toxic bar. Oh, you can't do it yet. Okay. We gotta go to the other room first. Wait until that's it. Just so you guys know, about an hour left on stream. Thank you. It would be great, guys, if we get some more support. I, I Sadly, I don't want to, but I guess we're going to have to send out a tweet and a post because thank you for the 100 likes, but another stream, five straight streams where we're stuck at $50 in tips is very bad. Um, You know, this is actually the greatest heartening that I've had now six straight slow streams. I hope that, and especially with Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy's always had a ton of support. So I guess I'm going to tweet out and see if hopefully maybe someone could come by and help out. I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. Six straight streams is, is a bad sign. I seem to be playing stuff people want. Do you want me to beg? 
FC Chargers, it's kind of rude to talk about that. I'll just say this, all right, without saying anything specific. Over the years, as you know, I've been around for 14 years, okay, making content. Over the years, sometimes I got people who are my most hated enemies, and all of a sudden, they realize they like my content, and then they become fans. Sometimes I've got fans that, for some odd reason, have a complete change of attitude towards me, and now they don't like me anymore. The truth is, I very, very rarely have any involvement in it. I... I have hundreds of viewers on every stream. I have thousands of people watching my videos. People from all over the world. I, I don't know what's going on in everyone's mind at every moment. You know what I mean? It very well could be that some people have different times in their lives where they feel differently about things. <clears throat> it could be something that I said or did that rubbed someone the wrong way. That there's no way I could possibly know that or have any way to avoid it. You know what I mean? Like, things change over time. And you just gotta kind of accept it. That, you're, you, as they say... You can't please all of the people all of the time, right? And that's kind of the situation I'm in right now is there's some people who might for some reason just, oh, I don't like them anymore. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that. You know what I mean? I, I haven't changed who I am as a person. I haven't completely changed my content creation model or anything. Everything's good. So if someone has a change of attitude towards me, you just kind of shrug and say it's sad to see someone maybe go who has been a viewer and fan and supporter for a while, but... I can't help that. You know what I'm saying? I can't. So, it is what it is. And I do, you know, just so everyone understands, it's perfectly fine if that happens. There are people who move on in life or even have changes of attitude. As long as these people don't go crazy. For example, at one point I had a moderator many, many years ago, 10 years ago, who apparently decided over time he didn't like me anymore. And then he started finding ways to use his previous moderation powers to basically hurt people, which is kind of messed up when you think about it. Then he went on to make shit content about me and stuff. It's like, what the fuck? I don't even talk to you. I have no personal relationship with you. Well, you were a moderator for me for a short period of time. You helped out, and now you hate me? Like, what did I do? And the answer is nothing. These people just, they get caught up in the nonsense of the toxicity of the internet. They start watching the fucking dumbass defamatory videos about me. They want, oh, it's cool. I'll be a part of a community now. It's like, what the fuck, dude? But anyway, the point I'm making is, Everyone changes, right, over time. Everyone has different life things that happen. I used to be the biggest fan of certain content creators myself. Oh, that's good. I just got level up with two there. And, <clears throat> and over time, I stopped being fans of, of certain content creators and the like, right? And that's perfectly fine. It's just messed up if people lose their minds and take it to the next level. Oh, not, not only do I like this person anymore, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to shit on them and I'm going to do things to hurt them. It's like... So, I just hope that you understand that if, guys, if you're ever a viewer of mine and you find yourself never really liking my stuff or me anymore, that's fine. I'm not going to have sour grapes and bad feelings towards you. You know what I mean? That's just the natural part of life, I feel. People move on. But please understand, you know, there's a difference between, oh, I don't like your content anymore, or, you know, I'm going to go crazy and take it to the next level and try to harass you and fuck stuff up for you in your life. That's that's when you're going too, too nuts, man. You know, this is a dead end. Or can I keep going? I guess I can keep going. Nice. I made it. There we go. I did actually hear that. James says, did you hear the rumor YouTube might demonetize reaction-based content? Well, basically, like, you're reacting to another YouTuber or reactions of reactions and stuff. Yeah. I heard this, that YouTube is essentially trying to finally find out what stuff does it shouldn't have monetization on it, which they literally have never done before. They just put an ad on anything, which is stupid. Just put an ad on any fucking video. Like, you have a, you have a responsibility to those companies that are advertising on your site that you're putting out quality content to advertise on, right? It's my feeling anyway. By the way, guys, a little bit over half an hour left on today's stream. Once again, I would like to say thank you to everyone who is chilling with me and enjoying the stream. If you could support it, I'd really appreciate it. As you can see, likes are great, but outside of that, tips froze quite some time ago. And, uh, you know, I've had a series of very slow streams. It would be great if hopefully we can get a little bit more support by the end of today. Thank you to anyone who does support my Final Fantasy playthrough. So I'm off to try to milk you out of money one final time. There he goes. Oops. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, admittedly, the menu system is a tad bit cumbersome. I don't know. I didn't come up with lean in manual ban. Someone else did. And then someone started just saying it on the stream as a joke. I think it was probably from a detractor thing. And I was like, whatever. I'll just start using it. So I did. That was it. I don't even use it. When do I say that, right? I never say that. Lean in ban. I got a nice lean in ban for someone who just assaulted me. Goodbye. Jay took me a dollar. Says you have to lean in and manually parry. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for the tip. Lean in manual ban for this asshole insulting me. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm sure it's extra delicious to be banned. All right. Nice lean in manual ban for the person who just called me retarded. Say goodbye. And uh, don't come back. Oh, wait, you can't. You're banned. Another lean in manual ban for a troll who's trying to incite problems. And he's gone. Okay. We rest. Is she gone now? Yup, she's gone. So now, apparently, it says, Check the Hall of Illusion where you fought those annoying monkeys. You'll find her straight ahead in front of the great tree. If my laptop worked, this would be a lot easier. Oh, yeah, I could definitely ban him. He's a piece of shit. Cool. All right, good. He's out of there. It's always good to get a, a fresh, tasty, lean-in manual ban during the conclusion of a fun, epic playthrough. If I attack the gods, it will prove I'm the monster they think I am. He leans so hard he died. <laughs> he got the ultimate lean-in manual ban. He got the lean-in manual ban from life. God damn, dude. Tevin? It very well could have been Tevin. Um, it's Tevin's fault. Um... Is it possible to sue Tevin for defamation? I mean, yeah, but, you know, the problem with defamation law is that you have to prove all kinds of stuff. You actually have to prove intent. You have to prove that the thing that the person is saying, that they knew that it was fake, as opposed to just hearsay. And a lot of shit that people say on the internet is a lot of hearsay. Oh, I heard this, I heard that. You know, it's not, oh, I'm blatantly making up a lie to try to hurt someone, which that would be considered defamation, you see? So, defamation law is such a, a weird thing. Um, what I could say is this, like, not to say that you could basically take him to court and try to, say, get him in trouble legally, but probably channels that just do that kind of shit constantly could probably get taken down. You know what I mean? Like YouTube, if you just hit them with a cease and desist saying, I think I sus suspect this channel is, is defamatory in nature, uh, perhaps that could happen. The thing is, I don't care about that. I'm never going to do shit like that. <clears throat> okay. So, this is the end for all of you. All right. Anyway, guys. So, great progress on today's stream. I mean, that was a really solid stream of basically just dungeons, right? Please... Thank you for talking with me, helping me out to find rare items that I never would have found today. I definitely would have found you know, most of those if uh, you guys didn't help me out. And I appreciate that so much. All right. Until next time, peace out. Later. All right. Where is Phil? Where did Phil go? Where is Phil? Where is Dark Side Phil? He has vanished. He's disappeared. Where could he be? Why is there just an empty chair? I don't know. It's a good question. All right, so now people are asking me to bring back the webcam, but you can't have it both ways. If I'm hideous, then I'm hideous, and you don't want the webcam, or I'm not, I'm not hideous. So what is it? Right? Listen. You guys, you know, you got to understand something. All right? I'm very sensitive. I'm a very sensitive person. I have, you know, incredibly thin skin, and I can't put up with these kind of... of uh, Barbs and, and jabs and 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 razzing. I can't I can't put up with it. I you know So you guys gotta you gotta either cut it out or you know, what you, what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna turn everything off turn off turn off the whole stream completely oh my brother! I can't put up with it anymore. All right. I can't I can't do it. I've had enough Where's cartoon Phil? Oh, he'll come back. He'll be back tomorrow. You like cartoon Phil, don't you? It's weird cartoon Phil Cartoon Phil gains like 40 pounds. Look. Cartoon Phil like exp explodes in size. Oh, it's weird. Cartoon Phil has skinny, skinny arms. But like his body is it looks like a it looks like a fucking Mr. Potato Head. 
right? The body is like swollen, but the arms are like twigs. <clears throat> That's cartoon Phil. There you go. Looks just like me. To a T. Some kind of Muppet you are. Indeed. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, God. Excuse me. That's disgusting. Good. All right. Now, guys. We're going to start. A couple quick things because we're about to start. All right. Number one. The last two days have been really, really good for engagement and support. I would love for that to continue today. As I told you, I want to keep Final Fantasy VII as a daytime stream. But we need to continue on with engagement and support to do that. I can't have it that it now becomes a dead playthrough. And last time around, we had way less attendees and way less support. I hope that that won't be the case today. Okay. Number two, we have three new hats in the rotation as rewards. If we hit $100 in tips today, the Los Santos baseball cap from Grand Theft Auto V, the Bender hat, and the inflated crown. All right. Three different hats in the rotation. So we agree we could hit that $100 goal today and see one of those silly hats. Uh, I would love to do that for you, all right? So thank you in advance to anyone who supports the stream in any way, whether it's just a simple like, or if you want to go above and beyond, thank you, all right? And now, <clears throat> remember, your contributions are, are mandatory and always will be mandatory. Is this it? Do you want to see it? Turned out pretty good. Cloud, don't. I should be in this picture. Even if I'm not in there, no worry. It's just an illusory world Sephiroth made up. <laughs> just as I thought. This picture's a fake. The truth is in my memory. Five years ago, I came back to Nibelheim to inspect the reactor. I was 16. The town hadn't changed at all. What did I do? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I saw my mom. I saw the people in town. Yeah, I went to Tifa's room. There I... I spent the night, and I went to the reactor at Mount Nibel. I was excited about it. Thanks for the sex, you stupid anime bitch. Wow, that's amazing. It's amazing that you're idiotic enough to go down to this underground frozen area in fucking heels and a dress. Stupid idiot. <laughs> <clears throat> Execute clown mode. Everyone, thanks for everything, and I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry. Sorry. Especially you, Tifa. I'm really sorry. You've been so good to me, I don't know what to say. Sorry. Deactivate the clown mode. Is it ever explained why Sephiroth was in the crystal? Because he always was. All the Sephiroth you've seen throughout the game is not Sephiroth. It's probably the projection of him through Genova. But he was always trapped in that crystal. And the whole purpose of those clones, they were made from pieces of Genova that they were supposed to bling, bring the Black Materia to Sephiroth that would then create the catalyst to summon Meteor and destroy the world so that the life stream could become one with Sephiroth and Genova. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. That's the plot. It makes absolutely no fucking sense at all. That's why I didn't like this game. Because if you play Final Fantasy 4 or 6, are there some confusing plot, plot twists and threads? Yes. But for the most part, if you just play the game from start to finish, you can understand it. This game is like... It's esoteric. It's like, why is Sephiroth in a crystal up in the northern part of the of the planet? Is that really him or not? Is that Genova? Was Genova really in Midgar? Or is that something else? What is Genova to begin with? Is it a space fucking alien? Is it some kind of an intrusive being on the planet that's a parasite that wants to suck on the life stream? Or does it really want to become... What happens if Genova and Sephiroth actually did fuse with the life stream? Would that really end the planet or rebuild the planet in a new way and kill everything that was on the existing planet why would you want to destroy the planet with media that you could sit here and you could like debate this endlessly for hours on end and people will talk you 10 different theories 
But if that's the reason I never really liked the plot of Final Fantasy VII. The other Final Fantasies can get confusing and complex, but at the end of the day, you understand them. This game is kind of like, what? So halfway through the game, you find out Cloud was never in any of the memories he remembers. Those memories were given to him, and he's essentially a manufactured clone. Okay? Great. Is that why he sucked so hard? Yes. That's literally why Cloud sucks as a character, because he never had a real personality. He's not a real person. He never existed. But that's your protagonist of the game. Why does the protagonist of the game have to be a clone that's boring? He could have been one of the characters of the game, and another character could have been the protagonist who was interesting. Instead, they made him the protagonist, and it sucks. In my opinion, they could have definitely did something better with the plot. I know. B-Boy Cyclone says, I'm so confused right now, and you're not the only one. Like, literally, everyone scratches their heads confused at this part of the game. Is that really Sephiroth? Is that part of Genova? Is that Sephiroth separate from Genova? Because he's supposed to be made from Genova. But then why is Genova trying to get to Sephiroth? It, you know? <laughs> anyway. Darth Revan, thank you for a $50 tip. And Darth Revan says the following. Screw it. Cost of living in the UK is fucked right now. But what's money anyway? I might as well hit the first goal earlier than later. On a serious note, I enjoy your videos more when you were laid back and having fun with the game. Me too. <clears throat> Me too. When I can just enjoy a game and relax and interact with you guys, that's better to me than a game that's like, oh my god, it's hardcore challenging, and now we got to be like hyper focused and you know these more these more stretched out relaxing playthroughs I enjoy a lot more. So thank you, Darth Revan, for all the support today. I really appreciate your explanations. I'm not kidding you. Murder Mel says that's not a good explanation from Phil. Cloud has Genova cells in him, but he's not a clone. Sephiroth says that to confuse and mock Cloud. He makes him feel like he's not real. So <laughs> What? So the game literally just said, here's the plot. But you're saying, that's not the plot. Do you see why I didn't like the plot of this game? Is it making sense now? This is why I felt this was a weak game to be the first one to push Final Fantasy to 3D. And for people to say, this is the best Final Fantasy ever. I'm like, okay, gameplay is great. Okay? World design, great. Music, I love it. Story, it's like diarrhea in a bag. I hate this story. It's fucking confusing as shit. <laughs> Listen to this. That's not a sign of a weak story. That's a sign of a strong story. Oh, the strongest stories are the ones no one can understand. Gotcha. A story that's so ambiguous that no one to this day, fucking 30 years later, even knows what the fuck the game's about. That's a good story. I'm sorry, but you know what they say? You know, at the end of a, good, of a horror movie, everyone says... You should basically have no ending. It should always be open-ended because that's the scariest ending is one that's open-ended. I'm okay with an open-ended ending to a horror movie as long as it makes sense. So, for example, the end of The Ring. They thought that they solved everything. They freed the ghost, but then they find out they're still haunted. Oh, shit. That's a good ending. But what if there was no explanation at the all of anything in The Ring and the movie just ends, right? Or the movie never had anyone elaborate on any of it. It just showed all the disjointed images of scary shit. And you just got to figure it out for yourself. That's basically what this is. They're telling you one thing. But is it true? Is it not? Do I believe it? Do I not? Is he a clone? Is he not a clone? Is Sephiroth really Sephiroth? Or is it part of Genova? Is Sephiroth a clone of the original Sephiroth? What the fuck is going on? Why is Meteor coming? Why do we care? You know what? Here's what I do. I say, okay, I put my controller down. And I boot up my SNES and I play Final Fantasy VI again. Because at least I know what the fuck is going on. Okay. Let's continue. As Tifa says, I didn't know what to do. I've always, I was always like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Huh. What is it? It's really been a long time. Because she knows it's not been five years. Basically what they're, what they're, they're trying to say here is. Cloud has memory loss. Cloud is real, all right? He did have a childhood with Tifa, but he did not ever have a run-in with her in that Nibelheim town. That's the part that's disjointed, you see? So he says to her, oh, it's been five years. She's like, what? I haven't seen you since we were kids. What's he, what's he talking about? But I think she entertains him, thinking that he's been through a lot and not really knowing what's wrong in his head. And now it's starting to come to light that some messed up stuff happened to him when he went to Midgar and tried to join Soldier and all of that, <clears throat> and he got wrapped up with Hoja. Okay. Aran 
tip me a dollar fifty. He says, I'm confused as to why you're confused. Sephiroth is lying to Cloud. He's not a clone. He wants him to feel worthless. I don't get why that's hard to get. So I'm a retard. All right, let's just continue before we lose our minds. And let's just keep going with the game and see where it goes. <clears throat> Actually, it's been seven years, see? She remembers seven years. You told me a lot about what happened after you left Nibelheim. But something was wrong. I felt there was something strange about the things you talked about. All the things you didn't know that you should. Other things you shouldn't know that you did. I wanted to make sure, but then I heard that you were going far away. And I didn't want that. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I needed more time. That's when I told you about the avalanche job. I wanted to be with you and watch you. Of course. Let's see now. It must have been about seven days. All right. How do all these characters in movies and games sleep for that long? If you didn't, if you weren't awake for seven days, how did you eat? How did you drink? How did you defecate? If you were asleep for seven days and were literally knocked out and didn't wake up, you'd be completely covered in your own feces. You'd be completely malnourished, dehydrated. You'd wake up sick as shit. She, I don't see an IV in her arm. So how the fuck was she asleep for seven days? And why do all games, television shows, and movies have this trope that they use that makes absolutely no sense? You can't sleep for seven days on a bed like that. At this point, who's my favorite character compared to my, my earlier runs? Oh, God. <sighs> See, here's the problem. And this is actually, again, I, 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 I this is one of my criticisms of the game earlier on when I played it in the 90s. The pacing's bad. You literally get red. Then all of a sudden, you get Kate Sid. Then all of a sudden, you get Sid. So you're like, okay, so I got these party members. Let's learn about them. Let's have them fall into the story. Nope. Now you're tossed into a completely different plot line. You don't even have time to have these characters fleshed out. It's kind of like you rush through their introductions and the next thing you know, you're already into this other story arc and so they don't feel fleshed out. Like Barrett has a really involved backstory, right? So you're invested in him. Tifa, to somewhat, to some extent, she's embroiled in this plot line with Cloud. Eris, of course you were embroiled with her Ancients plot line, right? So those characters you're like invested in. These other characters are just like so rushed. Like I want to know more about Sid. I want to know more about Red 13. But we barely had any time with them. Maybe you could argue Red 13, we went to Clo uh, Cosmo Canyon. But I, I just feel like it was rush, 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 rush to get to this point in the game now. And now, basically, the only way you're going to learn more about these characters is through how they act with this whole Cloud and Meteor plotline. As opposed to, man, I wish they had their own threads. Which they really don't. I actually feel Sid gets the shaft, you know. Because Sid, to this point, had a one very short plotline. And now he gets nothing, you know. UV had a little bit in her hometown, but even then she didn't get much more. I think, isn't there a second plot line with Yuffie later? I think there might be. Stuck up, bitch. Slap, wow. Bitch slapped her. Damn. Well, now the show's about to begin. Yeah. <laughs> Emergency! Emergency! Weapon approaching! Attention all military personnel! Take your positions! All employees! Report to the bottom platform! All employees! Run! It's weapon! All employees! Get the fuck out! Get out of here! The weapon's on the way! Get the fuck out! Damn, why now? Uh... Did we get him? Seems so. Weapon approaching. Speed 50 knots. It's heading right toward us. Good lord, all employees. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sister Ray. Why are we going out here? Our little game of hide and seek ends here. The execution may have been unsuccessful, but your death by falling and crashing to the water below might still be pretty exciting. Slap! St stuck up to the end. Quit slapping me, you old bitch! Oh! 
Fuck you, you stupid cunt. Oh, take this, you piece of shit. Ah, you old saggy leather bag. Oh, how dare you strike my face. Oh, take this, you great ape. Ah, you stuck up piece of crap. Ah, stop striking my face. Oh, I said stop doing that. Ah, take this. How about this one? Oh, yes. God, I can't stand it. Oh, and Tifa, no matter what your goal is, you gotta be prepared. Go to the operation room and get ready. Maybe that's where we save? Let me see, because I want to save. I take a break. I've been trying to take a break for 25 minutes, and the game hasn't given me an opportunity to save. So hopefully I can just save now. Save. Save the game. Save. Save the game. Save. No. No save. We'll put Red back in the party. And I guess we'll do Barrett, Yuffie, and Red for a while. And then we'll switch it up again. Save. Can I save? Save the game. Save. I still can't stop playing. Guess I can. Fuck this. All right. That's so annoying. I'm waiting for a save point for 20 minutes. There's no fucking save point. <laughs> so we're going to take our break here and hopefully the game doesn't crash. Okay. Guys, thank you. Great stream so far. Great amount of support. Darth Revan, thank you so much because he has to take off. But he'll be back tomorrow for Multiverse. It sounds good. Thank you for all the tips today, man. All right, guys. It's break time. Let's take about a 20-minute break. When I come back, there'll be a little over 90 minutes left. I mean, yeah, it's going to be not two hours, but that's because I went later here. Because I couldn't find a freaking save point anywhere, okay? But I'll be back shortly. Thank you guys for chilling with me. <clears throat> and I, we will continue shortly with more Final Fantasy VII. Thanks, and I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> okay, so now, of course... I freak out about not being able to save the game, right? I go on break, and then I'm told, oh, if you just literally went right back in here and talked to this guy again, he'll let you save your game. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. I'm very upset right now. Support children's entertainers. They all died. I can't do it? Oh, here we go. Cloud was playing. Oh, only Cloud can get it? Can seriously only Cloud get it? Oh, come on. It's a limit break for Tifa, and you can only have me if you're Cloud? Oh, that's stupid. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 Come on! Ah! Ah! It's bullshit. It is bullshit. I'm not a whiny baby. I'm a mature bozo. Okay. An anonymous tipper to me, $2, says, Would you go back to Twitch if they partnered you again and didn't apologize for unpartnering you? Wings had a thousand viewers returning to Twitch yesterday. I'm not going back to Twitch. Twitch can go fuck itself. Forever. And ever. Seriously. Until they have a whole business strategy shift? Why the fuck would I go back there when on a moment's notice they could just ban me again with no evidence, no explanation, and just say fuck off? Why would I waste my time? I'd be a complete asshole asking for another fucking falling apart of my business to go back to Twitch. I don't care if LTG and Wings and everyone else went back. It's stupid. You are asking for for failure. You're setting yourself up for a huge failure if you go back over there. Nothing has changed in the last year. In fact, all reports are it's actually gotten even worse. So why the fuck would you go back? You'd be stupid. I'm sorry. Yes, if you if you want to construe this as saying I'm saying that Wings and LTG are stupid, go right ahead. I would never do that. I'd be a complete asshole. <clears throat> okay. Why would I go back to Twitch? Where Twitch TV is literally a business model based off of begging. Oh. Hey, but honestly, man, do I really want him to come back? What do you do for the world? What can he do for us from here on out? He may be nothing more than Sephiroth's shadow. 
Something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, nothing at all, Doc. You okay? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you all. There's something I want to say to you. I heard all the things you just said about Cloud. You're a piece of fucking shit. Oh. <laughs> wow. I don't care about anything else, only Cloud. <clears throat> I want to be by his side. Yes, that's the best. Yeah, that's uh, probably for the best. For Cloud and for you. I'm sorry, everyone, especially now. Wait a minute. I just equipped her with all that shit, and now she's gonna leave my party? This game can bite my shiny metal ass! God damn it. Seriously? That's alright. We'll be by again. I'm not a clown, and I'm not an actor. Oh, I'm a man too. All right, I'll do it, everyone. Follow me. All right, now here's the first job. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's go, doggy. Wait, what? <laughs> he does have a, you know, he has a, an accent, right? If you watch the movie, the animated movie, he has a southern accent in the movie. That's why I'm doing that. Alexander, no. He says, can you make a throwaway soccer account not tied to your name? No, because then no one legit will ever bid. You see, you guys? Okay. Let me summarize in a very quick nutshell. The way eBay works, all right? If you try to just sell something on eBay and you're not a reputable account, all you get is trolls and scammers. You need to have what's considered a reputable account, meaning you have, like, sales history and, and backing that testimonials that you're real. If you don't, you will literally get fake shit constantly it's completely abusable all right and when i used to sell stuff on ebay a long time ago i had a friend who had a reputable account and i would sell things through him and then i would get legit bids and stuff but that was a long time ago i haven't talked to that guy since before i was a youtuber okay now if i were to set up a, an account a fresh account and just start putting up things on ebay okay first of all no one's going to bid that's legit because I don't have it's not a reputable account. No one would trust it. Second of all, the trolls would find it right away. They saw what I just got in my closet. Or do you really think, oh, rare Machinima Xbox 360 up for sale? Why? Of course they're going to know it's me. Who else just fucking found one in their closet and is randomly putting it up on eBay? What an insanely incredible coincidence that someone else would list that on eBay right now, right? And so the absolute moment, literally the moment that I did that, I get trolling bids, I get harassment, I get all kinds of comments, don't put a bid on this guy's thing, this guy's a piece of shit, this guy's this, that. I can't do it. I have to sell directly to someone of repute, like a business or something. That's how I would have to do it. It'd have to be a one-to-one -one transaction to someone who you know is real and isn't going to scam you or try to rip you off. So... There you go. It's that simple. Can't do it. I wish things were different. That's not how the world works. That's not how things are set up. I have a bunch of insane stalkers following me at all times, trying to figure out everything I'm doing every moment. I, I can't. I can't sell stuff online like you guys. I know. You guys have the freedom to do it. I don't. <clears throat> okay. Now, please, stop bothering me about it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so guys, again, what I'd like to say is thank you for being a great audience. I realize we don't have a lot of people attending these live streams. I'll also be honest, I checked the views on the videos. This is actually my least watched series right now. But here's the thing. For some odd reason, people don't like watching old school JRPGs. I don't know why. This has happened every time I've done one, okay? Um, I love them. I love old school JRPGs. I grew up playing them. This is one where I actually always wanted to go back and play it because of my unique experience with it in the 90s and everything. And I'm actually really enjoying it with you guys now. Today, we had major plot developments, and I'm glad I got to talk with you guys about that because this plot has always been something that's driven me nuts. I'm glad that we're going to continue on and maybe get even more understanding of the plot, which I never had before, okay? So thank you. Seriously, thank you for being here and chilling and supporting 
I'm really happy that the support is keeping up for this playthrough because I was nervous that it was going to slow down. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, we did get way low attendance today, but you guys that are here, you're excited, you're engaged, we're having a good time together, that's what it's all about. All right, guys, so thank you so much, and yes, we will be playing this again in a couple of days. All right, guys, thanks again. Until next time, peace out. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Been a couple of days since I played. Last time around, man, did we have major story progress, right? We now have the high wind, so we have free reign to explore the world, whatever we want to go. <clears throat> Jackie says, would I ever consider doing a state of the stream stream during an evening stream? I mean, we talk on the pre-stream podcast slash level one podcast every day, and that's pretty much the state of the stream. We don't need to have a formal... <clears throat> we don't need to have a formal show for it anymore. That's why I used to do that is because the vast majority of my content was gaming and that was a rare time to talk to everyone. But I talk to you guys every day now. So I don't think we really need anything like that. And the bottom line is I need a lot of fucking money. <laughs> Could someone turn off the dripping faucet for God's sakes? It's annoying. <clears throat> Either that or Cloud needs to shake, if you know what I mean. Yes, <laughs> the I told you it was pissed, by the way. Oh, uh, what? Who? Who is it? I can't hear. It sounded like Kefka. That sounded like a Kefka laugh. It really did. But where do we start? <clears throat> There's different clouds, see? I think, if I remember correctly, each cloud represents an aspect of his memory and his personality. And you have to talk to all the clouds to get them to fuse back together and become the real cloud. <laughs> I, again, I, guys, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with my voice. I was perfectly fine. I started playing the game and all of a sudden my voice is screwed up. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get a cough drop. Hold on. I do have a cough drop over here. It could be that the uh, landscapers are outside and my air conditioner turned on. It might have blown pollen in here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I have a menthol lozenge. I don't know if it's going to help or not. <clears throat> and again, I apologize. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. How does it feel? Five years ago, I saw the real Sephiroth for the very first time. It's your first time back to your hometown in a long time, right? Man, I sound terrible today. I don't know what happened. I literally sound fine. And then I started the game and all of a sudden my throat screwed up. <clears throat> I was perfectly fine. What the hell? <clears throat> Plum girl, no, as I said. <laughs> my wife and I both like the goatee and the mustache. We're not going to change my facial hair for our stupid goal for stream. It's just a dumb stunt and I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> He was the one who sent her away. Hey, Cloud, if you're feeling sick, why don't you take that mask off? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Ouch! That was pretty stupid. Don't push it. <clears throat> Damn! Lifts him by the sword. <clears throat> Look, he's got him in his balls, too. He stabbed him right in the sack. <clears throat> it can't be! What the? Whoa, shit. Yeah, you want me to ban this guy? Okay, there. Enjoy. Yeah, I get Wizzo the Clown out of here too? Okay, fuck him. All right. Okay. Uh, permanently ban! Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Try everything. Try every. I heard that song. I think in a movie I heard it or something. I don't know. Now, now that tune's stuck in my head. What's going on? <clears throat> mm. 
Damn! Damn! Ah! Damn! That's enough. What do you want to do with him? Ah! Oh, no! Oh, I'll just pretend that I'm him. Sounds like a great plot, doesn't it? <clears throat> so this is what confused me, all right? So Cloud never made it into Soldier. He instead became a grunt in the Shinra army. He was there at Nibelheim, but he misremembers things because in his mind he's convinced himself he's, he's Zack. Why? Never explain. Never explain why he decided to pretend to be Zack. Or how he, how he fooled his mind into thinking he's Zack. It doesn't make sense. It's a little confusing. Is it psychological trauma? Like, if your friend passes away, you don't automatically think, Oh, I'm my friend now. So what, what's that about? Right? Um, and, but in addition to that, um, why did they leave him alive and not Zack? Why did Zack get murdered to begin with? Like, why did they murder him when they got to, to Midgar? I don't know. Um, why did Hojo put Genova's cells into Cloud if he wasn't part of the soldier program? Because the whole point was they were doing that to the soldiers to make them super soldiers. So why did they do that with Cloud? It's never... None of this is ever explained. It's just, I'll just assume that all this just kind of happy, right? Oh, okay. Just assume it's all, you know... So it's just fingernail scratches with them talking to each other and that they were going to break out. But it's just weird and confusing. And I never really understood the full story because this full story is never explained. So Cloud was pretending to be Zack, thinking he was Zack, but still called himself Cloud. Like, okay. <clears throat> Why is he the only person that was able to defeat Sephiroth and not Zack if Zack was a soldier? They had the same cells in them. I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway. Uh... There's nothing else here, right? It was just that cutscene, that backstory cutscene. <clears throat> Hojo did the soldier procedure on the Nibel survivors. He knew they would not tolerate it and become black cloaked, cloaked Sephiroth clones. And that he, that's, he wanted them to go to that re reunion, correct? Because he was trying to, I guess, reunite Genova with the live stream. He thought something would happen that he could use, but in reality, it just destroys the planet because then Meteor gets summoned. I guess. I don't know. And I go, so, so Cloud's the only one of those black-robed people who didn't go nuts, right? I don't know. Very weird. It's not even like, it's, you, have, you have to jump through so many, like, logic hoops to try to piece together what they're trying to say with this plot. Again, this is why I didn't like this plot, you know? The Shin Black says they do fill all these plot holes in Crisis Core. You have to pay money for a plot fix. I don't know. Looks like a dead end. Some people say you could cross, but I don't see how. Tried to me $1.69. So I went to a Final Fantasy concert. The creator of the series was there, and he said the short death cycle for Final Fantasy VI and VII encouraged the creators to take tons of risks and make the games feel different. He said nowadays they mostly worry about the graphics. Thank you, Chai. There you go. We're going to Midgard. Do, 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 do. Barrel Shroud, I have not confirmed or denied if I'm 100% in the game. I might like to do that if you guys are down for that. But again, like I said, number one, I need to have an audience that's going to show up for it and engage with the content and help me with that because I don't remember how to do all the Chocobo shit. And number two, uh, I need support to do it. I can't just do it by myself with no support and have slow stream. The hardship is sitting, is sitting here playing this game. Stupid. Nigger. Give me the money, uh, bitch. For example, today we hit the tier one tips call. It sure would be great if we could get some more support, guys. Especially because tomorrow's my day off. Tips would help a ton. So thanks in advance. <clears throat> okay. That's funny. I dropped the key to this gate somewhere. It must have been on the excavation tour. Aha. Uh -huh. So now you know to go to the excavation 
town. What the fuck? Why did they... Look where they let you leave. On the wrong side. I can't even fucking get around it. Begin. Here we go. Oh. That didn't help at all. They're all looking down. Wait. Do they not look where it is? Because someone said jig at the top of the ladder. So does that mean that it's right here and it's not where they're telling you to look? If that's the case, how stupid is that? How would you ever know to find that, right? How would you ever know that, that, that there's a Midgar key here? So what should I do? Should I dig here? Or do I go where they're looking? Which do I do? Someone just said it's at the top of the ladder. So should I just dig right there? just a bit to the left. Okay. So, like, right here. Do I want me to go there? What's in this door? It's not what it looks like. What? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna get vitality plus one. Vitality plus one. What happened? Why did it skip over? Oh, my God. It's so touchy. Talk about touchy. Talk about fucking touchy. Holy shit. It's still touchy. It's still touchy. It really is. Alright. This guy's a troll. Get him the fuck out of here. Dunce. Okay. We fucking dunces. Double attack. And limit break. Back. Blood fast. Give me delicious blood. Oh, I want your blood. Ah, la, 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 la. Oh my god. She's still going. She killed him. Blood fest. What the hell? <laughs> Festival of blood. Ah! An elixir. Attacks all opponents. Okay. Good news is we can save. Let's save the next time around. We'll obviously resume right from here. I'm gonna have to heal and everything, but it's all good. Good stuff. Excellent. This is terrible. It's all messed up. Here's a chest. Outsider? What the hell's the outsider? Probably a weapon. Sounds like a weapon. Shout out to the outsider. My favorite YouTuber. Or something. Outsider. Long range weapon. The ultimate is a, a really good weapon for Vincent, perhaps. So the outsider is the best one I have right now. I don't know. Fast times at St. Ambrose. They're referencing my elementary school now, if you can believe it. To me, Dollar. All right. How exciting. What's weird about all this is there's been like no combat and all the combat I've done was like more, like more optional than anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, isn't it weird that like it's been so long since we had a real dungeon? There was a gauntlet of them at like disc one, disc two. At that point, you do like two or three dungeons in a row plus a bunch of bosses. Since then, it's been like a ridiculous amount of gameplay. And there's no real, like, like steady combat. And that's what I mean about the game being disjointed. You know what I'm saying? The game is so disjointed in that way that it feels like there's giant chunks of traditional dungeon crawling, exploration, combat bosses. And then the game's like, oh, go around the world for like seven hours 
grabbing random items and shit. It's like, what the hell? It's so weird. Laszlo, I agree, but at the same time, it definitely makes more sense than this. What I mean by that is Laszlo says, well, the second half of Final Fantasy VI is similar. The first half is very linear. The second half, you have to go all around the world recruiting your party from everywhere. You're right, but at the same time, there's almost a path you, that's, that makes sense logically to follow, and then after a while, you just randomly explore. This is just like, it's so disjointed. You go, oh, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Is there a dungeon? No. Is there a boss? No. Just go here, go here, go here, talk, 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 item, item. Go here, go here, talk, talk, item, item. It's weird. It almost feels like disc one, they all worked on it. They heavily developed it. They were like this. And then disc two, they were like, well, we have all these ideas, but we don't have a lot of time to finish them. So just throw them all together, disjoint it. People right now in the chat are trying to figure out how the remake's going to be. So, Melbster says, Part 1 remake was 40 hours story length. Rebirth should be about another 40, and then Part 3 the same. Part 3 would probably be from the middle of Disc 2 to the end of Disc 3. Rebirth would be from the middle of Disc 1 to the middle of Disc 2. Makes sense. But then again, it really depends, because if you take a look at Part 1 of the remake, they definitely stretched out certain parts a ton. Like, Wall Market? Oh my god, Right? Like, that's dramatically stretched out with insane amounts of side content. And the town, too. The town where uh, Seventh Heaven is in, that town is dramatically drawn out with tons of side content and shit in it. So it might be, what can they expand and what can't they? What makes sense to make much larger and what doesn't? Like, I doubt that they're going to make any dungeons significantly larger, but they may make towns larger with side content. So think about it. From when they leave Midgar, okay... All the way, like, to the end of, like, maybe middle of this, too. What do they do? Like, I could see them, like, Cosmo Canyon. I think Cosmo Canyon, they're going to massively expand upon. There'll be tons of shit going on in Cosmo Canyon with side quests and side characters and other things, maybe side dungeons and stuff. I could definitely see that because Cosmo Canyon is a major plot line in this game, but it's not very long. So I could definitely see that. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> Gold Saucer, too. Yeah, dude, Gold Saucer will probably be fucking 20 hours long. With all the shit in there, there could be a whole side thing with arcade games. The, the Colosseum could be its own plot line. You know what I mean? Like, that could be really massively expanded upon. Shogun's Unknown says they have stated, you should expect to see all the major events that the other games have, but, uh, but the order and context will be different. So same things, but different context, different order, mixed around. Alexander says there's no reason to believe Rebirth will cover all the same story points as the original. If they're going to keep Zack around, potentially having Sephiroth be a good guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think I think what will happen is you'll have the same locations, but everything's going to be treated differently, shuffled about and treated differently, which I'm happy with. And I'm so happy we played this this summer. I really am, because now when it comes out, we're going to have this frame of reference. <clears throat> I want to avoid hitting him. I think if you, if you touch him, it probably makes him not stop. Do I think they'll kill Eris in the remake? I don't know. It's a good question, Death Watch Unite. Since they are redoing everything. You know, Eris is still alive for now. And Zack is still alive, which is completely different, right? <clears throat> so, obviously, they're going to change a lot of stuff. You have to crash into him? Oh, I'm being told you have to crash into him until he stops. All right. All right. Should we change the party members? We'll just save them for now. Keep what we got. What do you guys think? Should I just keep what I got for now? I like using Vincent. He's something different. We haven't used him at all. I think maybe we'll keep it for now. Unless anyone directly protests and says, no, there's a reason you need to have a certain party member, then I'll switch. But let's see what people have to say. <clears throat> Red Gamer says, after playing the remake, it seems like Aerith knows she's going to die, but the ending made it seem like they're going to die a completely new destiny. Right. It seemed like exactly right it seemed like she knew like there was a premonition she had that she was gonna die in the plot but now they're changing destiny which is really weird what do you guys think tacos Alyssa should be fine what do you guys think alexander says i think taking red 13 would be good if you're gonna fight hojo only fear of death says if Square Enix had called Final Fantasy VII Reimagined instead of Remake, I think I would have accepted the changes. The thing is, all they had to do was be honest about the game, and I would have been okay with it. They weren't. They literally said it's, it's going to be the same game, and then they lied. Oh! Righty then! No? 
know? Am I fucked? I don't know. I mean, this is confusing as shit. No, I'm not doing another playthrough of Super Mario Brothers 2. Reload? Seriously? Reload? I can't get the items now. Why is there a beginner's trap? Too serious is a beginner's trap. Come on, man. I, there's no way I could have possibly known that was going to happen. That was 100% a beginner's trap. There was not even any warning. Wow. Why would they put a beginner's trap into the game like that? <laughs> How was I supposed to know there's a set order to do it where you lose all the items? Come on! Hey, square saw. Come on! I know you made this game in 1997, but come on, man! <laughs> What's your problem? <clears throat> oh, now I took damage? Come on! War gong. You just berserk on all of your opponents. <laughs> all right, due to 100 likes, we'll do a celebratory bubble blow. You guys didn't even ask for it, but there you go. You deserve it. <laughs> Very nice. Clowns basically do, because that's all it is. They're they they're acting like clowns to entertain children, and I'm not a children's entertainer. Carlos was designed for larger chips because of the nature of the reaction? Oh, I would say, for well, the 50 is the glasses, and that one still stands, so... Probably either 75 or 100 then, right? I mean, the thing is, it's very rare that we get that much. It's cool that we have, we have a new one, but it is very rare that we get that those big of a tip, you know? Right now, the $100 tip animation is the one I go, Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> I know we have a weird relationship, but we have to end this like Turks. All right, Mark. I don't think you know what the fuck you're talking about because we're fighting. Nice, Zydric. I'm getting all kinds of shit. Oh God! Do you think that did enough damage? Come on, you fucking bitch! Come on, man! What a pain in my ass. Why does he do so much damage? Now I can't even win. I seriously can't even win. He just keeps doing four to five thousand damage a hit out of nowhere and killing my whole party. Now I can't even control Vincent. I'm fucked. I gotta do it over. There's nothing I can do because I can't control him. When he goes to beast mode, he's uncontrollable. So I lose. Jesus Christ, Rude is ridiculous in this fight. Rude is absolutely ridiculous with that damage is insane. So now I know, do not use Galleon Beast. Galleon Beast is a huge bad choice there because you can't control your party. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I can't I can't play anything on, on Steam, as you know. I can't do PC capture. Just playing console games, it, it's like 90% half the time of my CPU, so. Yeah, Kevin Goldman says, Tiva had a really rough time if you remember everything that happened in the game. Well, yeah, the fact that her, her dad was murdered, her entire hometown was destroyed, her best friend from childhood moved away from her to become part of Soldier, and literally comes back someone different with half his memory gone. Yeah, I'd say her life's pretty fucked up. All right, it's almost dawn. <clears throat> uh huh. Morning, Tifa. It's almost dawn. 
Hmm. Good morning, Cloud. Just a little longer. A little bit longer. No. This day will never come again, so let me have this moment. So it's weird because you can tell the entire game she's had romantic feelings for him, right? And he's had kind of like at some points in his life maybe feelings for her, but never really did they ever come to fruition. And now the world's so fucked up, obviously. 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 He doesn't anymore. See, he's just kind of like he's there, but he's there for her, right? But he doesn't feel it. That's what I mean about him being a protagonist. I don't like him as a protagonist. It's not his fault. That's how the character's written. It makes sense for the plot. But he's shitty. He's a shitty, like, hollow being because of everything that's happened to him. You know what I mean? We better go. But I still... It'll be alright, Tifa. You said so yourself yesterday. At least we don't have to go on, go on alone. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's go. Kevin says, I think it's, it's because his feelings were mixed with Zack and the Genova cells. It messes with him until very late in the game when he confronts it all. Right, but still, again, I get it. But I would have preferred if Cloud were like one of the one of the cast of main characters. Like I'll give you an example. Final Fantasy VI. There is no main character of Final Fantasy VI, right? Some parts you're 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 Terra, then you're Cloud, then you're Celeste. You could be the Figaro brothers, right? You could be all these characters. And they all have their own unique uh <clears throat> their own unique perspectives and their own unique stories. I like that. Because even if you don't like one of the characters, there's a ton more that you can like. In this game, you are Cloud, and you're stuck with him for most of the game, if not all. And if you don't like that character, you're fucked. I don't like the character. Sorry. You know, I understand where he comes from. I don't find him entertaining or riveting or, ex you know, I who do I like? I like Barrett more. I liked Aerith more. You know, I, there's other characters that I like more. Red 13, I, I, I like more of his story. Instead, we're stuck with Cloud. You know? So, it disappoints me that they, they force you to be the character that, in my opinion, is a, a hollow, broken, not complete being. You know what I'm saying? What an awful, terrible, horrible thing to say. And really, ultimately, it's going to be your protagonist that's going to pull your narrative along. And because of that, I just don't like the plot that much. Now that I'm playing it again 20 years later, the plot makes more sense, for sure. I just don't think it's that good of a plot, especially when you get to disc two, and all of a sudden you went from this linear story that was making sense to fly here, go here, fly here, go here. Where are the dungeons? Where is it? Oh, don't worry about that. Fly here, story here, go here, 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 here. It's just the game becomes pinball. Bum, 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 bum. As you're trying to get elaboration on what happened with Cloud, who is he really, what's with Sephiroth, Disc 1 feels great. Disc 2 feels like, oops, we're running out of time. Rush everything. And because of that, Cloud doesn't feel like he's a complete character. That's my opinion. You can disagree. But I definitely think Final Fantasy 4 and 6 do a much better job of fleshing out their protagonists and making them likable characters. And even if you don't like one of the protagonists of 6, there's still four more. You see my point? Go on. Alright, cool. We can leave. Alright, we have to go find Ultima Weapon. I wonder if it's still at Midgar. I don't know. Hobo X says, I'd rather have them make different types of protagonists, like Cloud, to keep Final Fantasy games feeling unique than what they did with Final Fantasy XII, where the main character really has nothing to do with the plot. I don't... I would know. I played Final Fantasy XII, got so bored with it, I never even continued the plot. So I wouldn't even be able to answer that. Oh. Something Shadows, I never wore gold chain in my life. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about.
I hopefully I did everything. Let's save. Hopefully I did it all because that's uh, I'm out of time for today. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, great, really great progress. I mean, let's be honest. I, I pretty much did the final story segment of the game before the finale, right? So now from here on out, the rest of it will be optional end game content in order to prepare for the final battles against Emerald and Ruby weapons, which are mother bitches to kill. I remember. So, if you know, we continue at this rate and the support continues and, and people show up and engage and help me. I will continue to play this for another few streams and then take on those weapons. It will take a long time. I remember the grinding at Golden Saucer. It's crazy <clears throat> in order to get um, all the chocobo races and, 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 you know, breeding and all of that. But I'm down for it if you are. All right, guys. Thank you. Great stream today. Thank you so much, everyone, for the support. Until next time, two thumbs up and thanks so much. All right. All right, everyone, welcome back. Final Fantasy VII, what a playthrough it has been thus far, right? We've had a lot of fun. It's almost as if he plays games to have fun. Guess what? Wrong. How dare you hit me with the ore? Take this. And then this. Ooh! Die. Take this. Yeah, baby. I did it. Is that it? 777 battle points. And I received a tissue. Why did I receive a tissue? Oh, 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 oh. His body parts are flying off his body. This guy's not very... Menacing, it's just annoying. Why would they... Why the fuck would they put that into the battle arena unless they're a bunch of fucking assholes? So at any time you fight that guy, he could just randomly eject you and you wasted your fucking time. Well, maybe the battle arena is a waste of my fucking time then. What a bunch of fucking assholes, seriously. That's the most dickheaded thing you could do. Why would you put that into the battle arena? That pisses me off. That is so stupid. What a waste of my fucking time. <clears throat> you can leave by the end of your week. You get points. I was fine. I was going to beat the guy. Instantly ejecting me is fucking bullshit. Stupid. This is why it's safe to buy a lot of GP because it's unpredictable. Yeah, it's also shit. It's really poorly designed. It's seriously completely poorly designed. Like, it's so dumb. <sighs> Essentially, what they did is they want you to... Here, use everything you can to win. Oh, by the way, even if you're doing everything right, you could still lose because the game puts all the odds against you and it's not fair. There's a difference between challenge and being completely unfair, and this is just completely unfair because of RNG. So how is it a fun thing then? It's not. <laughs> the fuck are these mothmen? <laughs> Look at the fucking mothmen. Great. Great. 
Oh, I have no HP. Oh my god, there's no way I can win after this. HP, HP, HP three times in a fucking row. Yeah, I'm not winning that one. It's not my fault. The game is a piece of fucking shit. They are morons. I'm getting lucky here with the pulls. Oh, wow, I'm super lucky, but watch, it's gonna end up being like no good reward. No, oh, yes. There's nothing you can do about that. At any time, he could just throw you out. It's a complete waste of time whenever you fight that guy. Like, what a stupid waste of time. I did nothing wrong. The game is fucking cheating. So dumb. 100% <clears throat> cheating. Fascination. Yeah, fascinate this. Oh! She didn't die. Fuck you. Are these Quirrells? I don't know, I think they were called Quirrells in Final Fantasy IV. I don't know what they're called in this. No item, that's not good. Oh no, it's a Tonberry! This guy hurts, man. Die! He met. The Tonberry. He insta-kills you. I couldn't kill him in time. Duh! <laughs> Gathering whole lives that I wanted to say I watched Ryutech USA stream on me. I'm sure he did one last night. I paid no attention to it. I love Richard's content. I feel like he's being extremely insensitive. Do you mean insensitive? I'm not sure what you mean. But he said, he said we're not all like that, his fan base. And I know that Gathering Hall Live. You want to know why? Because a few people from his streams came over and started watching me in the last few weeks and liked the content. And I've been coming by and supporting and being very positive people here on the streams, which I'm happy about. So thank you. If you're one of those people... L listen, there's a difference between a content creator themselves and their viewer base. I know that. There's, there's people here in my viewer base who sadly do kind of messed up stuff. But at the same time, you know, you can't hold me accountable for that. Same thing vice versa. You can't hold viewers accountable for what a content creator does, right? And I agree there. So, hey, anyone is always welcome on my streams. Anyone who wants to have a chill, fun time, I don't care who else you watch. I'm not, you know, that's not my job to judge you because you're watching someone who is bad to me or whatever. Just have a good time, man. That's what it's all about. Everyone's welcome. Parb said, I came because of Review Tech. Now I, I prefer you to him. He made some really awful comments last night. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. I don't really care. I don't, I don't give a shit what he does. Like I said, he's dead to me. I'm not going to care about what he does. I'm not going to listen to him ever again. He's banned from my streams. He has no influence on me whatsoever. He can't affect my viewers or my content, so I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> oh shit, that worked well, huh? I didn't know Hades had all these effects. Stupid. There's nothing I can do. I have no HP. How am I going to survive that? I'm not going to. That's the answer. Gotta do it again. There's no way I can win because I'm too slow right now. I got slowed, so I can't deal enough damage to him to beat him. He's going to kill me. gonna hit me right here. Yep, Get him over. Here. <laughs> Nothing I can do. So annoying, man. <clears throat> Why 
What's a staycation? It's when you take days off of work, but you stay home or stay in your local area to do stuff nearby. So, like, have, I, really, I would love to have a whole day with my wife just to just chill at home, have a relaxing day with her, do stuff around the house. That's what a staycation is. All right. One down, maybe, like, two more to go, and then we're good. What do you mean, Gaming Gurus? You get a staycation every week, don't you? How? My one day off is literally half spent running annoying errands and shit I don't want to do, but I have to do because it's the only day I have off. Like, tomorrow, grocery shopping. Pet supplies. Uh, I have to run. I think my wife said there's two things she wants me to pick up while I'm out, outside of the grocery store. So I have like half the day I'm out doing nothing I want to do. And then finally when all that shit's done, which takes most of the half, the first daylight hours, I get to relax with my wife, have one meal with my wife. And then uh, finally, just kind of sit back a little bit. It takes all day though. Like that's not a staycation. That's not the point. Uh, $70 in tips, which means 30 more to go, and you guys will see a hat for the rest of the stream, and I am streaming till 4 p.m., so we'd have over an hour if we hit that tips goal. Thank you guys for your support today. <clears throat> All right, so... I think... Execute clown mode. What are these? Oh, are these clowns? I wish someone would chase the clowns out of here. Oh. Damn, you got owned. Blast it. Play cool 18 to me, $1.50 says, I rewinded this stream and heard you talk about Xenoblade 3 from what I've read, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The game is a minimum of 60 hours for the main story. Forget the 100 to 140 hour people, roughly the same of Dragon Quest 11. That might be too much for you right now, but imagine if you skipped Dragon Quest 11. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. No, that's bullshit. That's if you turbo through it. And you know me, when I play an RPG, I do not rush through an RPG. That would literally be like you miss, you skip every piece of side content, every side mission. All you do is the story, 60 hours. You know I'm not going to do that. For me, it would probably be at least a minimum of 100. And then if I like the content and I want to do all of it, then it's probably even longer. So that's why it doesn't make sense for me to do it. Just being honest. <clears throat> and again, it's not like I said I will never play. I'm just saying I'm not playing it now. It doesn't make sense. Wow, instant kill. They just really love to kill Cloud, huh? Poor Cloud, again. I should put the final attack on Cloud. The road splits into two. We split into two groups. Oh, no. No, I don't want to do this. No, I really don't want to. I'd rather grind on the upper levels. I don't want to go down and split into two groups like this. Because now you can't have all the material you want on each group. Yeah, this sucks. <clears throat> No! I screwed up. I already screwed it up. Don't have you die me. Get to Sephiroth. I screwed this up. This is wrong. I want to go back now. I already put, I put Vincent on the wrong side. It's all over. Yeah, I don't want to do this. I want to go back. Fuck this. Oh man, Materia Hunter UV sounds like the last chapter for Materia Forever. This is annoying. All life on the planet, indeed the very life of the planet, is in our hands. I'm 
so happy to have you met you all, really. Let's all go back alive, okay? Yeah, I screwed up. This will be the end of it. We fucked up. I have the wrong team. How am I gonna do this? There's only two people. Now I have to try to get all the way back with only two people. Great. I could just cheat. You know what? Fuck this. I will cheat. It's a bullshit beginner's trap you wouldn't even know existed. There's no way to know it exists. It's also incredibly done it even exists like that. Why would you have a situation where they make you split your party, but then if you accidentally picked the wrong one, you you already fucked up. Now you can't do it. You gotta start completely over. Oh, that's just genius, right? Stupid. <clears throat> like, even in Final Fantasy VI, where there's many parts where you split your party up like that, it always asks you, are you ready to go? Are you sure this is what you want? Not here. What I'm thinking is, if you guys were ever interested in that, by all means, share. You know, I, I'm not like, opposed to it at all. And it fucking is the kill. But then you, Final Attack Phoenix, revive. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. That worked perfectly. Death Gygus, finally. He finally learned a new fucking limit break. Oh my god. Nicely done. Alright, so guys. Uh, great stream of Final Fantasy VII today. Great progress. We got the entire arena done. Got all the items we needed out of the battle arena, which is a huge win. Because sometimes if you have bad luck, that can take a long time. And my god, was the times three of the game a huge asset with that, right? A little bit of grinding in the final dungeon. Got some items. But now, next time... <clears throat> I really think next time is going to be starting up with the Chocobo Race Grind, which, ugh, yeah, it can be very annoying, time-consuming, it may take multiple streams, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. We've got to start it next time, all right, guys? Thank you so much. Great chill stream, great interactions, great support, everything. I'm pleased. Thank you all so very much. Until next time, peace out. Got it. Yeah, Final Fantasy IV was Fire 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Lightning 1, 2, and 3. And, uh... Oh, there was no bio. Instead of bio, they called it virus. The virus spell. Which makes no sense. A virus is a biological organism. How is it a spell? But they called it virus. <clears throat> <sighs> Z-Man, I am playing FF7 now. The podcast ended an hour ago. Are you still watching here? Our kid Cup says, It's astonishing the amount of time and effort YouTubers invest in you and want to micromanage your life. Taking care of oneself is hard enough. Interesting, nevertheless. They're, they're nuts. They're, they're, I'm telling you. You say they're YouTubers. Those aren't YouTubers. Full-time YouTubers have way more things going on in their lives to worry about than me. They don't have to obsess over me. The people you're talking about are people who literally, the only thing that they can do to get attention in life 
is to kind of be up in my shit constantly and always be full of shit when they're talking about it. So, yeah, it's pretty stupid. <clears throat> Let's try the short course. All right, everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, the Chocobo Grind segment. And I may look a little different. <clears throat> yes, it's because we hit our $100 tips goal for the day, which means people voted on a hat. And during the closet clean-out event we did on the weekend, I just happened to find this beret that actually was worn by Gaseous Snake, the character in our show Project 7 from over a decade ago. And we found the props in the closet. And I was like, what the hell? I put it in the running. People voted. This is the first time in my life I've ever worn a beret. <clears throat> How does it look? I hope it looks good. People are saying it's nice. It matches my shirt. Perhaps I should just wear a beret all the time. What do you think? This have kind of happened and almost, like I said, it's almost like the planets aligned and are telling me don't do Project 7 now. And so what I want to tell you in this video, now that I'm sure everyone has thumbed it down, right? It's like 4 million thumbs down. 4 million. Some idiot is trying to be stupid. I'm going to ban him. I'm not going to say shit. How about that? I got a high potion. God damn it. <laughs> Just going to ban him. Just going to ban. Not even going to question. Just going to ban. Do, 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 do. We are at 95 likes. It sure would be great if we could get five more likes on this stream to hit our goal of 100, guys. And you guys know what happens when we hit 100 likes, right? In addition, we are a mere $12 away from the vest goal. So if you guys want to see a vest for the rest of the stream to go with the, the beret, please consider tipping and supporting the stream. Thank you. Hint, hint. Daki says, when did I get this hat? This is the Project 7 beret. This is the very beret used in Episode 3 of Project 7, Get Gashes. So I got it 10 years ago. I bought it 10 years ago when I was getting the props for Project 7. Fire Fang. <clears throat> All right, so that's five wins now. I need four more. Execute Clown Mode. <clears throat> We've done it. We've hit the 100 likes. Thank you, guys. You guys know what that means? Time for a bubble blowing and me winning a, a standard potion. Thank you for the likes. Thank you. Celebratory. Bubble blow. Very nice. Okay. So that was win number six. Deactivate the clown mode. Guts, I don't know what you mean. He said, what is the... This is how you don't play Metal Gear Solid 2 video mean to you the most? I don't know what you mean by that. What does it mean to me? I mean, nothing. I never even saw it. I told you, I've only seen excerpts. You know, at the time when it came out, it was disheartening because I was like, dude, here's someone using my content to make fun of me. And it wasn't a concern of people making fun of me. It was a concern of people are going to watch that instead of my videos. And remember back then, it wasn't like today. Today, <clears throat> we got fun interactive streams, right? I could care less if someone illegally restreams me. If someone makes a, a, neg a negative video about my gameplay, who cares? I don't make a living off of views on YouTube and ad revenue. Uh, back then, I very much did. Ten years ago, that was my only source of revenue. I didn't have a Patreon. I didn't have tips. There was no other uh, funding. So a view taken away from me well, it was money out of my pocket, you know? And I was very worried about that. I was like, what's to stop people from watching my stuff on my channel and going and watching it elsewhere in a very negative light? It's kind of messed up that people are allowed to do that. That's what I was worried about back then. Now, admittedly, I definitely reacted to it in a stupid way. I definitely should have, uh, we had a lot more understanding of what the content was, maybe even rolled with it and made my own spin on it, right? I could have done my own kind of montages and stuff, but instead it was a missed opportunity where instead I just wanted to be like salty about it and be stupid, you know? It's probably one of the major reasons why it took off the way that it did. But outside of that, I, you know, what does it mean to me? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. People making fun of my gameplay at a time when literally that was the joke, was that I wasn't good at games and I would basically do kind of shitty playthroughs in order to get a laugh. Like, that was one of the big parts of my shtick, you know? <clears throat> like, do you really think of the part of Metal Gear Solid 2 
where you play as Raiden and he's naked and he grabs his balls and starts flipping around and I literally do it for like five straight minutes. Uh, I'm just doing it for a laugh or a rise. I'm not doing it because, you know, oh, this is meaningful shit. You know, it's not. Okay, let's try again. I appreciate that. G7J says, uh, Phil is the only content creator I'll watch all the ads for. I appreciate that. I mean, I don't make a ton off of ad revenue. I do make something. So I do appreciate that. And another way, if you really wanted to help out, instead of watching all the ads, you know what you can do? You can um, get YouTube Premium. YouTube Premium is so good. You don't have to watch any ads, but the content creator you're watching gets credit as if you did, which is huge. Thank you to Bayless to go into the 20-bit cheer, and he says, I need the money. I really do. I need that money. Well, then I don't know why you're giving money to me. <laughs> yeah, you've co thoroughly confused us all here tonight. But thank you for the cheer. So once again, guys, no memberships, no super chats today. I hope everything's working. Guts earlier said that he thought it was. No one's tried to do those things, and it didn't work, right? It's just that this tip, this stream is just incredibly supportive with tips and nothing else. I just want to be sure everything's fine. It makes me... This is the first stream I've ever done on YouTube. Since I started streaming on YouTube over a year ago where I have no Super Chats and no memberships. It's the first one ever. <laughs> so I just want to be sure everything's working. <clears throat> I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I'm so just enveloped in greed and money. I need money. I need money. No, uh, no Super Chats and no memberships today at all. I checked on my end. Everything's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong on YouTube's end. It says everything's good. You know? I'm checking all around. Nothing, nothing negative has happened. <laughs> so it just happens to be just... Dumb luck that absolutely nobody has done a Super Chat or a membership. It's literally the first stream I've ever done since I started full-time streaming here on YouTube last year where that's happened. I'm going to need your guys' help. I really am. I'm going to need your support morally, everything. I need it. Speed, stamina, intelligence. Very good. Okay, now it's racing time. X-Shooter just did a super chat. He said, I want to make sure it works. And indeed it did, X-Shooter. Thank you. It just means that you fell for it. Congrats. You fell for the marketing scheme. Thank you very much. So now we tested it. It is working. Just randomness that there was no done up to now but again no complaints the tips today are outstanding by the way guys twelve dollars away from a vest we still have an hour left on the stream so if you're watching and you want to hit the, the the final goal and have a vest for the final hour it'd be great if we could do that right now so that way we have the whole hour you know, the longer you wait the less time you have for the reward and thank you to everyone who liked the stream who tipped who chilled with me who's helping me with this this is fun because we're interacting when we do it this is boring as dirt to do by yourself, trust me. I've done it by myself. With no three times speed. And bad luck. <laughs> do you want me to beg? Here we go. We've dipped below 200 viewers. Well, for those of you who are here chilling with me, thank you. I appreciate that. I know this is not the most entertaining thing to watch. It literally is a mini game you're forced to do if you want to get the secret end game content. But I appreciate you guys relaxing and chilling with me while I do it. Thank you. And supporting it as well. I have good views though. Who cares? <laughs> views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Over the course of many years, Mako Energy crystallizes into materia. Knights of the Round. Round table destruction. Silver trophy for getting it. The weird thing about this summon, I don't think it ties into anything from like a previous Final Fantasy, nor do I think it was ever in a future one, right? Knights of the Round? I don't know why it's in here. I don't know if there's any lore behind it. I mean, it's nice that it's in the game. I just, I don't understand what it, what the purpose is. It's a Final Fantasy 14? Oh, I, don't, I didn't play 14. <clears throat> Hello everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 the true end game content and what i mean by that is right now we're literally at the end of the game the only thing left to do is level up the material we got last time during the golden chocobo stuff and make it powerful enough that we can take on the two super weapons ruby and emerald weapon let's do it 
Just go turkey to the super chat saying, how much do I have to donate for to play a better game? See, that's the beauty of me being a variety streamer, is that you may say to me, oh, I don't like the game you're playing. Okay, wait a few hours, I'll be playing something different. Tonight, I'm playing multiverses. Friday, I'm doing something totally new on the mainstream. Friday night, I'm doing old school Street Fighter. Saturday, I'm reacting to content and cleaning out my closet. Sunday, see what I mean? Like, every day is something so different that you don't have to worry about, oh, he's not doing something I like. Just wait a little bit and something else is coming. See? <clears throat> Nobuo Umatsu. I, I just, I know I'm probably butchering his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name, which sucks because, you know, it would be nice to be able to pronounce a fucking musical genius's name, but I'm stupid. <clears throat> What kind of bill clears on the 20th of the month? My water bill. People are so dumb. I literally have already answered questions like this. Now they're going to bring shit up. My water bill. It's it's uh like water slash utility. And it's an every other month type of bill. Where it's only every two months. And then it's, it's you know, the, the charge for the two months accumulated. And it clears this Saturday. <clears throat> I don't know why we're talking about that. What the fuck does that have to do with Final Fantasy VII, by the way? Ha <laughs> ha. That is true. Canon number one says, understand trolls live at home. You have to understand they don't pay any bills. And yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. Why do people care so much about my personal stuff? Because, okay, there's a couple reasons. All right? And this, this I think I can't elaborate a little bit on. All right? Number one, back in the day, I used to be way more transparent of a, of a person when I was a content creator on YouTube and the like. I actually used to give away all kinds of personal information about myself. <clears throat> I would film almost everything in my life. Okay. Um, and I think what happened is a lot of people got used to that level of interaction with me. And when I, I basically decided to cut that off several years ago because I felt that it was getting too toxic and people were using personal information to hurt me and be against me. Um, I had to cut that off, and you know, to some ex or mostly the extent of... You know, information about, for example, my wife, Kat. I don't really talk that much about her publicly on streams. Anything I do is usually just, you know, stuff that we're doing during the day or whatever. And that's, you know, that's calculated. It's because we realize the risk of having personal info out there can be very painful or harmful. Um, especially since my history of, again, people taking that personal information and using it against me. So the thing is... For years and years on the internet, I was a super transparent person. And then when you go from being so transparent to literally being the opposite, there's always going to be a group of people that are going to have a backlash or a bad feeling against that. You know what I'm saying? So I totally understand that portion of it. But there's the other side of it. And the other side of it is, back in the day, all right, when I actually used to be able to be transparent, all right, things were a lot different for me financially. I actually was uh, making a lot more money as a content creator on the internet, ad revenue on YouTube was sky high and all of that. So back then, ooh, the time materia just maxed, which is good. Let's go ahead and, and swap that out for something else. So anyway, um, you know, back then things were different. It was like, Phil just makes a bunch of videos, puts them out, that's the end of it. But what ended up happening was over the years, people became more toxic on the internet towards me. These viral negative movements happened and they hurt my business. And when they hurt my business, they made it so that I couldn't make a living just being a YouTuber anymore. I had to start being a live streamer. I had to have other revenue streams like Patreon in 2017. I had to become a full-time streamer and literally my income shifted from on the on demand, excuse me, let's try that again. My income shifted from on-demand ad revenue on YouTube videos to like 90% crowdfunding on the streams. all right? When that happened, all of a sudden, the trolls start saying things like, oh, how dare Phil ask for support on his streams and ask for, for stuff from his viewers? That's begging, and that's bad. So, but wait a minute. I was fully capable of making a living on YouTube full-time before you fucked my whole business up with false copyright strikes and other shit. You're, you're the ones who created toxic movements against me and turned the internet against me, right? And you're the ones who hit my channel with false copyright strikes, throwing it out of prominence. You directly, in two different ways, destroyed my business. Now you're going to tell me, oh, how dare I change my business up to be a different model to try to make a living. So you created what you don't like. You understand? You created what you're complaining about. You're the reason that my business is like how it is today. So you have no right to fucking complain. 
It's the most hypocritical thing that you could do, but they don't care because they don't look in a mirror. They only look at what's outside of them and try to bring that down to make them feel better about themselves, all right? So, <clears throat> to get back on track here. To get back on track here. um, Basically, the way I see it is, these people feel entitled to my personal shit because I'm on a stream asking for support. All right? It's not the case at all. I don't answer to anyone on the internet. I'm not entitled to have to do anything to anyone. My viewers like my content. They're here to chill with me, watch me be Final Fantasy VII. I mean, the reason I'm doing this right now is because my viewers told me, we want you to take the extra time to do this cool extra content. We like relaxing with you. We like the fact that you're putting in the extra effort, right? To see the super bosses and finish them off and all. This is cool, right? But they're not the ones who the problem is with. It's always these people who they're never satisfied. No matter what I say and do, they'll always just move the bar even further. So it doesn't even matter, right? They're gonna always demand more. If right now, if I showed you all my finances, not good enough, move the bar. That's just how it is. <clears throat> I'll, I'll give, you, I give you a quick perfect example. I got some more shout outs to do. Here's a quick perfect example of this. So the other day, I was very transparent about my situation financially and about how a year ago I had my identity stolen and someone got control of my accounts and was taking out multiple transactions of thousands of dollars at a pop, all right? And it was screwing me over because now I don't have money to pay my bills and shit. So I explained this. This is 100% what happened, okay? And then a troll immediately comes in the chat and moves the goalpost. Oh, well, you explained now what happened last year, which we wanted. But by the way, where'd you get all these thousands of dollars that was being stolen from your account? I thought you said that this... See what I mean? It doesn't matter what I explain or what I tell you truthfully or justify in anything that I tell you. I can show you all my financials right now. I could throw every bill of mine on the stream. I could do everything. It's not good enough for them. They'll always be going to the next level of weird conspiracy and fucked up thought. That's how they are. They're obsessive to the point of insanity. So you don't entertain the shit that they say and do. You just say, okay, young Billy, and you pat him on the head like they say, okay, whatever you say, person who thinks they're sane, and you just move on positively. There's absolutely no reason to be fucking wasting time trying to justify anything with those kind of people anymore. But that's why they want to know my personals. They're, they're of the opinion, if they get all my personal data, now they can either ruin my life further by fucking with it further, like that person did last year, or they can just move the goalposts to the next conspiracy or the next thing based off of something else they learned from that information, you see? Okay. Bookworm did a super chat. Some people are crazy. The playthrough's been great. I appreciate it. Thank you, Bookworm. Disco Turkey did a super chat. Again, saying the stupid thing. If you you want support from your community, you owe them to share everything with them. Wrong. You're insane. You're actually fucking nuts. A statement like that has zero logic to it. You're fucking crazy. Okay? Dan the Man re-upped his membership. Thank you very much, Dan the Man, for the support. And Big Tips. Here we go again. Are you ready for this? Big Tips does a $5 super chat. Here's the, the next goalpost conspiracy theory. You've said on camera water and utilities are due multiple times in the past two months. How does that make any sense? I, no, I didn't. You're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. You are stupid. You, what you're saying is factually untrue. No, I did not say I had a water bill multiple times in the past several months. My water bill has always been bi-monthly. What I do have is an electric bill every month. Maybe I said utilities previously and I meant something like that, but this is what they do. You see what I'm saying? Move the goalpost. Next insect. I mean, has anyone ever proven me right as well as these idiots are doing right now? Seriously, I mean, I don't know how, how much more of a 100 direct pr proof you can do. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like the moment I even explained myself, oh, here's the next conspiracy. Here's the next thing. You're nuts. You're a fucking nut job. Go seek help. Padded room. Best thing for you. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right. Now what I need to do is form two parties. This is where I ended and didn't continue on. So the rose was into two. We'll split into two groups. All right. We already, I think we already read this. <laughs> I don't have to read these quotes because we already read them before. Yeah. We already read all this. And there we go. So here's what happens. All right. Once you get to a point, once you get to a point where these trolls can no longer be addressed because you've basically proven how stupid they are, then they insult you. 
So the guy does another super chat and he insults my wife. You see? Oh, I have nothing logical left to say because I'm an idiot. So now I'll just insult you. So, I mean, again, you can't prove my points any more than you do. You just can't. You're an idiot. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Davros Metal fan, it is what it is. I'm so fucking used to it at this point. I just don't let it bother me, man. I don't care about these idiots. The, mor the moron the moron, literally super chatted several times in order to say the dumb shit that's super dumb and everyone knows it, so why do I care, right? Saul did a super chat. He says, can we get a thanks for the money, dummy? I mean, at this point, I don't think they're dumb. I think they're just, like, insane. I really, I actually, seriously, like, there's a difference between being stupid and just being nuts. I think these people have, have for so many years, you know, just been so up their own assholes about their own bullshit that they've just lost their minds and there's no way to bring them back to fucking reality, you know? So, no, I don't, I'm not really happy for it. I'm kind of sad that there's people like that on the planet and there's so many of them focused on me. It's pretty fucked up to think about. Elixir. Isn't it ironic, don't you think? Disco Turkey to Super Jazz add better patro patron goal. Stop ignoring it. Why? Patreon is not my focus and has not been in years. Since I became a full-time streamer, my focus is the stream. Eames. What the fuck is that? Here we go again. Just, so now I'm just gonna ban the idiots. I'm not even gonna address them anymore because they're gonna keep it up, I guess. Stupidity. <clears throat> okay. Keep going. So what's going on? How's everyone doing? No one's really talking. What's going on, man? Oh shit! What's that? A clown? A fucking clown? Chat is dead. Chat's not dead. Just people aren't talking that much. I don't know why. I'm right here to chat if anyone wants to talk as I do all this. I'm not going anywhere. Way around this way. Ugh. Run. How is the last Super Jack guy a troll? What are you talking about? How is he a troll? He's using the name of a murderer? Is he? I guess I'm supposed to know that obscure reference. He's a fucking dunce, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, is it? Okay, hold on. I even, even I wouldn't know that. Okay. Let's get rid of him then. Oh, good. He's already banned. Never mind. He's already banned. <laughs> that shit. Oh, wow. Shout out to Emil. So this is a $200 tip. Which obviously is going to help me tremendously today. Thank you so much, Emil, for that. As you can see, that's our new $100 tip animation. Sadly, it doesn't loop because it's a video. And sadly, with videos, they don't loop on stream elements for some odd reason. But uh, thank you, Emil. Insanely huge support. I really appreciate that because I really needed it today. So thank you, email, for a $200 tip. <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. New. Thank you very much, email. Really, really, really. So thank you so much. I really needed the help right now, and I appreciate it. That's going to help me tremendously, not only for my day off tomorrow, but also hopefully, you know, carry over to the weekend and help me pay one of those bills. So thank you. I do two days off. There's absolutely no way when I'm barely making payments on my bills and things in the month, there's no way I can take another day off. All right, so we're back from break, everyone. Awesome. With the amount of support we got today, so good. Thank you so much to everyone who supported, in particular, email with an insanely huge tip. Much appreciated. By the way, I like Ferrero Rocher. I've only had it a couple times. A couple times I had it, I thought it was tasty. All right, here we are. Okay. Oh, look, we've got a troll. A troll, a troll. Suck my butt, you troll. Because now you're banned to take my hand and it slaps you on your face. Ho, ho. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, here we go. Here's a piece of garbage. Getting banned. Look at that. Enjoy. 
Enjoy your band, stupid. I told you guys, for me, when I when I raise a certain tip skull, the reward is I put more clothes on, so you guys don't vomit. It's not like other streamers who take clothes off. I put clothes on, right? So that's that's the deal with the vest. Figure this out. You know, I'm kind of slow. Sucks. It sucks being slow. <laughs> oh, by the way, we hit 100 likes. We hit 100 likes on the stream. Celebratory bubble blow. Thank you all for your support. Very nice. Test it with a potion so you figure out the trick. So you gotta use two different items, I'm being told too. Okay. Ultimate Shadow, I understand you're trying to help, but you have to understand, number one, no, I'm not going to stop playing and look up a video tutorial on how to do it in the middle of my stream. And number two, it should be pretty easy to explain, which you told me how to do it, and it obviously doesn't work. So either I'm in told the wrong thing, right, or it doesn't work. So it's one or the other. <laughs> the way I was explained, it doesn't work. Let's see what it is. It's shield. What the fuck does shield do? I don't even know. If you leave the item menu, it doesn't work. Select the first item, select the item until selecting the target, then back up once the item lists screen. Keep alternating between X and O. I don't know. Again, what you just said is not English. You understand that, right? Select first item, then second item until selecting the target, then back up once to the item list screen. Keep alternating between X and O. We did that. It didn't do anything. And we did it multiple times. The percentage is how often attack misses. Oh, okay. All right, here we go again. You ready? W item. So, select the item. So, so let's say I'm trying to duplicate the potion. Potion, select. Put it on who you want to give it to. Okay, I want to give it to myself. Now, I want to hit high potion. Okay? High potion and put it on Barrett. If I press X, he's going to give the items. So, if I do that, I'm fucked. So, you're saying go back, click it, go back, click it, go back. It doesn't do anything. As you can see, oh, it's it's duplicating the first item. It's working. Look. Okay, it duplicates the first item in the slot. All right. I see. So here we go. So I do this, and then I do turbo ether to bear it. You have to be one of the dumbest motherfuckers ever to be on my stream. MP plus, we did that. I guess we got to start working on uh, ma uh, summon materia. Yeah. Okay. What kind of toilet handle am I getting? I'm not... Uh, shut up. <laughs> How about this? Shut your face. You're stupid. You're stupid. Alright. Do I use wet wipes? No, no, no. I, I Every time I, I use the bathroom, I put my toilet... Or I put my toilet. I put my ass in the shower, and I max blast my ass with the shower head, washing off all the fecal matter. That's what I did. Stupid questions. Alright, Typhon. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, wait. There we go. Why is my mic so quiet? My mic is maxed. If I make it any louder, it starts popping and sounds awful. I don't know what's up with my audio setup. I, I can't. I'm not a tech guy. You know? It's been like this for eight years. You think by now people would be used to it? I guess not. I guess eight years isn't long enough to get used to something for some people. <laughs> no, I tried to fix my audio before. I've explained to you guys a million times that 
Okay, so right now I click on my mic settings, okay? It opens up a thing here, all right? And it says all kinds of options, okay? Um, you go to properties. Nothing. Click on it again. Advanced audio properties. Here's all the audio properties right here, okay? And taking a look at mic, okay? The volume right now is at a certain level, right? There's nothing, it doesn't say anything that's nerfing it. Nothing is making it lower or anything like that. The one thing that I do have as a filter on my microphone is delay, because my webcam is slightly delayed. So if I delay my audio, it syncs it with the webcam, okay? That's it. There's no other filters on it. We've tried upping the decibel level before, and what ends up happening is it, it becomes distorted and too loud and cracky. We've done it already. So why would I do it again when we've done this before and it didn't help and everyone complained that so they hated it. So we went back to it being without that. This is correct. The troll now says, oh, you're helpless. Chat has to do everything for you, even in real life. You're right. Did you hear that this morning, actually someone from chat came over and wiped my ass for me after I shat. It was really nice. Not having to do that yourself is really a, a lifesaver, man. There you go. They got a new big squeegee. A big squeegee. They got all the dingleberries out. <laughs> Great. Oh, Mint, you're welcome. I didn't want I didn't want to blow up his spot. It was Mint in the chat and came over. Thank you. Oh, look, Phil's Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Wait a minute. You just complained that I become a prude and I won't make jokes anymore. So then I make a joke and you complain about the joke. The bottom line is people will complain about anything. Alright? It's true. Um and I don't care. I don't care about those people because those people are not the people who are here to support the stream regardless anyway. They're people who are just here to be dickheads. So, I really don't care. Um, is my audience growing out of my old style of humor? A lot of my audience, you have to understand something, just started watching me in the last few years. I have a lot of viewers right now on this stream that will say, I probably started watching Phil since like maybe 2017. There's very few people who are, oh yeah, I watched Phil since 2009 and I'm still with him today. People move on, you know? People move on to other things, they mature, they grow up, they do different stuff with their lives. How many people really have been here for the whole ride? Not that many. So a lot of people are have only been here since I've been a more mature kind of streamer who aren't are not gonna do this stupid over the top humor all the time constantly. You know what I'm saying? Um Jet League I guess. Oh yes. Will he ever learn his next limit break? He only knows two. Actually, what I've been seeing, uh, so I, I follow the social media trends for uh, for multiverses, and what some people are saying is Aria. You know, I, I tried Aria last time. I thought she was okay. Everyone's saying she used to be super good. So here's what you would do with Aria. You know how she had the ability to throw the knife and it stabs in the enemy and you could teleport to it? So everyone would do up and special, which is that up slash, and then you could do down and regular attack and you could do up special knife it would combo so it would go oh, 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 like that then you would press y you would teleport to the knife in their back and you could do a second up special and a second down special so basically it was like hit 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 and then after that you had an option to do something else well guess what they patched it and took it out so everyone's like that was her best thing and after without that she's actually not that good so it sucks they basically like completely nerfed her for no reason she wasn't top tier so people are all uh, upset. They're all upset about how bad Arya was nerfed. He's already fucking dead. Jesus. Mythical, what the fuck are you talking about? I thought you didn't follow trends. I have literally told you every day that I follow the gaming trends on Twitter. That's how I know about all the stuff going on. Like, what are you talking about? Like, 20 years ago or something I said that? Like, Jesus. You're a little out of touch there, bro. How do you think I talk about news stories on my podcast every morning? By sitting here with my fingers in my ears and my thumb up my ass? No, I follow the gaming trends. <laughs> it is what it is. The Man of Orange series is cool how the developers had foresight to put... What? Oh, that's it. Now you're definitely out of here, you piece of shit. I was trying to be nice to you, but you're a fucking piece of garbage for saying that. Fuck you. Fuck you to hell, you piece of fucking human trash. Fuck your ass, bitch. Mythical, now you can fuck off and get banned. For you say something really stupid, I don't even want to fucking address it. You're just dumb. Bye.
Goodbye, stupid. Okay. What are they, retarded? <laughs> great progress today. Great grinding, great progress, great audience. Thank you for for chilling with me. And thank you for the support. Thanks for everything. You know, I, I knew it was going to be a grind fest, but uh, I appreciate that. I guess next time we'll maybe do a tiny bit more grinding, and then we'll probably go take on the weapons. I think once we duplicate Knights of the Round, or we have three mimes, I think we're good to go. It's just that we need to get that, and we're working on it. We're almost there, okay? So, good stuff. Great grind, great progress. Until next time. Awesome. I thought he was supposed to cover. Good job, Cloud, not covering the moment that I assigned you with cover. Yes, sadly, Seattle has gone downhill ever since COVID and the uh, the Black Lives Matter movement slash kind of protest slash riots, because they really were more riots in this area. Uh, crime is at an all-time high and they don't have enough police officers to deal with it. They literally just launched an incentive in Seattle to try to bring more officers onto the force because they, they publicly admit they have way too few officers to handle the entire city because a lot of them quit in the last two years. They didn't want to deal with shit. So it is what it is. Like, my wife and I like Seattle, but we don't want to go there until we heard that it gotten better. And everything we hear is that it's, it's just terrible. Mine! We got mine. So how many mimes do I have now, actually? Oh, I don't really want to talk about crime and shit forever. All, all I'll say is this. Um, about two, three weeks ago, there was a, a mass email slash public statement made by a large grouping of mayors in this area. Uh, all basically all like like places near Seattle or in or you know uh, all the people who are in charge there slash all I just got look at this and Magic Plus and HP Plus and Leviathan <laughs> okay we got to do that so hold on oh, oh so all the mayors in this area who were in charge of all the cities in this area, so we're talking like 10 to 12 of them, came together and did a mass public statement. And by the way, these are liberal mayors. These are not conservative Republicans or anything. These are liberal Democratic mayors. Came together and put out a public statement saying they are imploring the state government to make punishment harder for crimes because here's what's happening. There's all these crimes going on, shoplifting, organized crime to rob things not just shoplifting but like breaking in overnight and stealing money from atms robbing stores and here's what's happening they're catching the people putting them to jail and within a week they're out and then they just do it again and it's become a cycle we're going in out in out in out and they're like dude we arrested this is the third time in the last six months we arrested you for the same thing you're, you're here again and it's such an epidemic now that they're trying to tell our state government enough with this you made it so easy to basically get off on these crimes that we can't keep people from stopping doing them anymore. And that's why Seattle and other places are so unsafe. People are just regularly committing these crimes and, and we can't stop them. They're just right back out again. So, and this is liberal people saying this. This is not, again, oh, oh this is what conservatives and Republicans say all the time. Liberal mayors came together to appeal to the state government to change the way that they're running stuff. So there you go. Okay. Uh, Chupa Maverga, hilarious name to the dollar fifty. What up, DSP? What's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Thank you for the support. Yes, this should. I think this might stun lock him. I think this is gonna stun lock him because now he can't ever move. He's gonna keep getting insta stunned by Hades. So I think we got this down now. froze. Well, I'm fucked. 
Yeah, he's gonna kill me here. And he doesn't have enough MP to do this. He gets unfrozen. See, now I know what to do, but I didn't understand how to do it at first. Alright. So now I know the pattern to use. It's just gotta be Hades and, uh... Hades and Ice of the Round over and over and over, right? An anonymous tipper to me $1.50 said he wants to end the tip drought. Would I sell my chest hair? I'm not even going to fucking respond. I'm just going to say thanks to the tip. Okay. Which, by the way, this is the final hour or so of the stream, guys, just so you know. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. My stable's full. I'll come back when I have room. So it stays here until your stable is empty spot, but I don't need it. I already got a gold chocobo. We did it the hard way. <clears throat> Alright, we're done. This is it. Like, literally, I don't even need to do nothing else. Just go and finish the game. Actually, let's save. I'm so overpowered. I don't even have to worry about... I don't, I don't have to touch nothing. I don't even have to touch any of their fucking... Materia or nothing. I can just turbo right through the end of the game right now. All of you. Later. That's all he has to say. All of you. Later. Not an inspirational, inspirational speech. Not something meaningful. Later. What a great protagonist. Now the true final boss. One winged angel. And boy does he look stupid. <laughs> okay, here's what pissed me off about this bo final boss. If you played Final Fantasy VI, okay, you get this crazy buildup to fighting Kefka. You have to fight levels upon levels of this tower of creatures and mutated monsters and people and finally get to Kefka, and Kefka is basically God. This literally is a ripoff of Kefka. It's 100% a ripoff of Kefka's final form. He looks almost the same. And I was like, dude, it's the same fight again, only in 3D? Like, they couldn't think of something different? And I was actually pissed off about it. Nope, didn't even get to see any of his attacks. He has a, a couple cool attack animations, but fuck that. <laughs> Erase his ass. Flush him down the toilet here. There he goes. Say, say goodbye to the tidy bowl. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, knockoff boss from Final Fantasy VI. This is a shame because it's epic music. I just never liked that boss. It really felt like a ripoff. And now if I remember... Correctly, I hated this sequence and I hate the ending of the game. Let's see if I if it still stands true today. But let's see if this end sequence is as bad as I remember it and if the ending is as bad as I remember it. Look how hard they're trying to make this look artistic too. Like let's put every filter possible over the effect. <clears throat> Oh, hello, Sephiroth, who's somehow not dead. Exactly. James says, so if you're following the plot, what you're supposed to know is technically Sephiroth died a long time ago. He's just a corpse that was possessed by Genova to do Genova's bidding on Earth, basically trying to orchestrate things to happen so that Genova could get into the live stream and basically take over the planet or eat the planet or however, whatever you want to say. So Sephiroth never was really here. It was always just a husk of who he used to be. He's wrong. No shit, stupid. This is so predictable. So guess who it is? That's right. I lied. Because Eris does come back. Uh-oh. 
Never mind. It's Tifa trying to get him out. It's not Eris. Maybe I'm blind. What the fuck? <laughs> Forgot about that. Yes, a geyser of energy launches the ship into the sky. Right. Shit! <laughs> I like how they actually put the swear on the screen. That's how they got their R rating! <laughs> Very nice. Shit! Meanwhile, back in the town of Shit! Oh, shit. Well, looks like we're fucked. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at the meteor. By the way, isn't it funny they never explain what meteor is? They say, oh, it's just some magic spell that kills the planet. What is it? Is it an alien? Is it some kind of evil force? A demon? What is a meteor? Is it just a fucking, literally a meteor? How did you call it to Earth? Oh, I don't know. Plot, it's called the plot device. Oh, I see. You can only stop the plot device with another plot device. Right? That's right. So use the power of holy plot device against the meteor plot device. What's gonna happen to Midgar? We can't... It's another plot device. I can't believe it. <clears throat> we thought we ran out of plot devices. <clears throat> what the hell is that? <laughs> <clears throat> Live stream? Let it go, let it go. Let the live stream green strands flow. When I sing, the magic will save the day. It's the storybook ending way. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> It's coming! All those wishes upon stars and talking to Jiminy Cricket at night finally paid off! <laughs> oh my god. What an ending. It said, Fuck this big hemorrhoid. Let's clear our ass once and for all. And here's where all their effects budget went. And here's Eris, still alive. Not really. Supposed to just be representative that she's part of the live stream now. Maybe I'm blind. You thought I was kidding? That's the end of the game. That's it. That's literally the end of Final Fantasy VII. I'm not kidding you. That's the end of Final Fantasy VII. There's no epilogue stories for anyone. If you felt invested with any of those characters, you get completely screwed because they didn't bother with an epilogue story. <laughs> yeah. Now, there is there is one more thing coming after the credits, by the way. There's one more cutscene. All right? So, we'll wait. But let me give you my... Let me lower this a little bit. So, here you go. Story works well. And I would say now that I've played it again in the modern era, I think the story is quite good <clears throat> until you get, like, to the end of this... Uh, this one and start into disc two even then disc two you get to like a bunch of marathon dungeons and all of a sudden the story feels disjointed for that next like half to, to end third um i honestly really feel like the game is not terrible like it's not the worst it's definitely not the worst final fantasy i don't think anyone has a right to really even say that was it overhyped oh my god this was overhyped when it came out. You have no concept, if you weren't around when this game came out in 1997, of how overhyped it was. Like, literally, everything was Final Fantasy VII around you. There were ads, every, everyone was talking about it. Everyone, it was like the previous Final Fantasy games didn't exist. Only Final Fantasy VII was the start of the next generation of gaming for a lot of people. And it pissed me off because, honestly, I felt that the characters... And the plot of 6 and 4 are much better than this game. I would say, what does this game have going for it? Well, it had a lot of content, for sure. It had, you know, really good combat. Some really good songs in the soundtrack, like we're hearing right now. But overall, I felt like the, the previous games did things a lot better. 
And for someone to just write off all the previous games of the series and say, oh, this is the best one, simply because it went 3D, pissed me off. Admittedly, I actually like the 2D art style of the previous games more than this one. I actually felt this one, the, the blockiness of the characters and everything, looks shitty. I liked the pixel art style better. Um, but now that I'm playing it back so many years later, <clears throat> I definitely like the game. I'll say that much. I like the game. I don't love it. I still like 4 and 6 better. You know what, though? It might be better than 5, because 5, in my opinion, has a really good combat system, but I really don't like the story of 5. I th thought 5 had a really weak story. So maybe this is better than 5. Um, oh, and here you go. The classic Final Fantasy theme playing in the credits. And that's the other thing, too. This game forgot about Moogles completely, right? The only real tie of this game to the previous ones is Chocobos. It doesn't have crystals, right? It doesn't really deal with a lot of the topics and, and themes of previous Final Fantasy games. It's almost like they wanted to reboot and start over with this. And then they played this song in the credits, and I'm like... I mean, it's nice you have the throwback song, but it doesn't really feel like the previous games. If anything, I still think it's a great game, but... Man, 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 man. Do I feel like it's just a disappointment because I thought it was going to evolve what had happened in the previous games, and instead it just kind of started over. And, again, graphics I didn't really like. Um, and the story. I mean, today, the story's okay. The ending there is kind of weak, in my opinion. The story's okay. But I think that the story of 4 and 6 are better than 7. And when people were so overhyped for this game, when he came, oh, it's the best Final Fantasy. Like, did you play the others? No, they didn't. Everyone was like, I will play 7, but I don't care about anything from the Final Fantasy past. And that's really pissed me off, because I felt it wasn't a, a fair comparison, okay? So, I would definitely say it's a good game. And I definitely think now that I've played it back with a modern audience, I like it more than I did back in the day. Especially because, let's face it, we played more Final Fantasy games in the last 15 to 20 years, and a lot of them weren't that good, right? So, at least you can look at this and say, okay, it's a frame of reference, right? The game is good. The combat's good. The music's outstanding. The world design is cool. I honestly wish the character development was a little better. I wish that the protagonist wasn't as boring as Cloud is. I wish that the story was a little better. But it's definitely a good game. I'll give it that. Okay, I'm happy that I did this full playthrough with you guys over the summer. I hope you enjoyed the length of detail that I went into it and basically did every challenge in the game. Uh, 2000s. I'm happy that I did this with all of you guys and thank you for uh, sharing this experience with me. And now in just a moment here, we're gonna actually see the true ending of the game. And you're gonna see why I really uh, don't really like the ending of this game, to be honest. All right. They really ham up this final song. This is the full on ending theme of Final Fantasy VII. This was also the end of Final Fantasy VI too. The same song. Here's the ending. 500 years later, yeah, this is what they came up with. 500 years later, here's your epilogue for Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> what a joke this is, in my opinion. So obviously the planet's still intact. The Cosmo Canyon theme plays, and you see who's obviously a descendant of Red 13, with two Red 13 babies behind it. Right? Okay. Great. And so they climb the canyon. Very reminiscent of when you saw Red's dad had been petrified up here at one point. And it poses and roars as if it's the end of the Lion King or something. And then animals fly over like it's the end of the Lion King. It shows that Midgar was destroyed. And it basically looks like The Last of Us. Right? 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 And that's it. What happened to all the characters in the game that you care about? Who cares? Right? At least that's what the writers are saying. We don't care that you just invested all that time. Right? So the good news is, the planet's intact. It beat Meteor, it beat Sephiroth, it beat Genova, and apparently destroyed it. Because if 500 years later, they're not a threat anymore... That's obviously good news. The bad news is, you don't get to know what the hell happened 
to any of the characters you cared about because they didn't bother putting it in the game. Now, they supposedly remedied this because if you actually buy... Well, if you watch the Advent Children movie, that's supposed to be like your... Oh, true ending epilogue with more characters and more things that happen to the characters you care about. But that's, that is a bullshit ending to me. Like, to me, seriously, that ending sucks ass. Give me a true epilogue ending. Final Fantasy IV did it. Final Fantasy VI has your cast of characters who survive flying off into the sunset. Is the world destroyed? Yes, but at least you have a glimmer of hope because you know that they can now try to set things right and they did the right thing and saved the planet. Here it's like, what happened to them? I don't know. Who cares? 500 years later, at least there's still life on the planet, but everything is destroyed. Oh, great. That ending is terrible. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to stand by my opinion on that one. That ending is complete duty. You work all your ass off to get that far and beat the game and then that's what they give you for the ending. They went artistic is what it is. They tried to have like an artistic movie ending instead of a video game ending. And that really stinks. I don't like that. So anyway, overall, but Cloud is kind of a, fl a flimsy, wet noodle style of a protagonist. I didn't like the fact that they try to justify it with his plot. and like, ah, Just give me a better protagonist. Or like Final Fantasy VI, give me multiple protagonists to follow along and play as rather than focused on the one I don't like, right? <clears throat> but for me... I still think it's a good game. I just, I, it's definitely not the best. It doesn't, to me, the four and six are still much better than this game. Although, like I said, after playing through this, maybe this is better than five. Five has great combat, and honestly, everything else is kind of lame. The plot in particular is really kind of shitty in five. Um, so maybe it's better than five. And then, of course, now Daryl did the five dollar tip and said, "Well, what do you think? Is this better than the ones that came after it?" Oh man, I would say. Honestly, I would say I like the combat mechanics of this better than 9. But perhaps the plot of 9 is better. Um, 10, I think, has good combat mechanics and a pretty good story. Although there's some really bad cringeworthy moments written into that one, too. Wasn't 10 the one where, where Nubo Umatsu stopped doing the soundtrack? Because at some point, the, the really good music ended. And that kind of pisses me off, you know? Um... 13? Ugh. You know, I skipped 12 because I never played through 12, so I can't really comment. But 13 is like... Phew. Like, 13 had really beautiful graphics at the time. I liked the soundtrack of 13, and honestly, the combat engine grew on me. I fucking hated all the characters in the plot of that game. And in an RPG, you want it to be good. You know what I mean? And if anything, you might say, well, why are they remaking Final Fantasy VII? Do you want to know my take? I think they want to fix this. That ending is so weak that I think that they want to make a really good ending this time around rather than have it be a shit ending. And think of it this way. If the ending of the seven remakes are good, they can do spinoff games and sequels because if people really grow to like the cast and they want to see other games with them in it, they could do it. With this, it's such a shit ending. You ruined the game. Like, what are you going to do now? Oh, we're going to make Advent Children a what-if movie or whatever, right? It's like, so I kind of get it. So, I guess we'll see what happens, but for me, uh, I'm happy that we played it again, and thank you for supporting the playthrough. Thanks for chilling with me over the summer of 2022. It was... Howl! Thanks for the money! Dummy! Yeah. Alright, so... Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for my Final Fantasy VII original playthrough. Alright, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you for, for joining me, whether you watched on streams or you watched on demand or maybe a combination of both. I really appreciate you supporting me playing through games like this that are more lengthy and, quite frankly, don't bring a mainstream audience. But I love doing these with you guys. I grew up with JRPGs. This, uh, Like I told you guys at the very start of this playthrough, this was a playthrough I always wanted to do. It was my idea to replay this game as Project 7 at first. And then when that idea kind of fell apart, I definitely always wanted to go back to it and now that I got a chance to, I'm really happy I did. Thank you all for making it a very special experience over this summer. All right, guys? Until next time, I guess I would say, until the remakes, I guess we give Final Fantasy VII a rest. Maybe in a year or two we reconvene and we see what they did, right? Thank you all so very much. See you later. <laughs>
talking about Derek, 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 Derek. Shut the fuck up, dude. Derek's not here. <laughs> see you later, Derek. <clears throat> Alright, Derek, see you later, man. <clears throat> oh my god. See you later, Derek. Yes, hope to see you for full guys tonight. Alright, Derek. See you later, man. Enjoy Thunderdome if you do get into it. Surprise, Cuckfag! Devour!